Yeah, I, this. I forgot to start recording. It's a good thing I just died. No, probably not. God, this is so annoying. All right, I just need to dodge seven lethal attacks. Hey, you. Are you uh 120 starring the game? Yeah. I rolled. You, my skills on cooldown. I rolled. <laughs> it died. Unfortunately, I am. Hope you have fun on uh, Boulder, guys. One hit. Yeah. It's actually not too bad. Also, I missed yeah. the one garbage in the back. Dude, I popped off when I was playing that game blind, and I did it first try when, like, I sucked against him normally. <laughs> Does that count as dodging a lethal attack? Are you achievement hunting? Ooh, there we go. Is there fall damage in this? Yes. Oh, yikes. Come on, charge me. Dude, music is really nice. Oh, yeah, this game this guy. I don't think I've music. ever watched you play Risk and Rain 1. I think I've only seen you play oh. 2. There you go. Motherfucker. Dude, nice. That item's very good, and I wanted it. <laughs> Let's put that back to normal. Let's see. All right, oh, Huntress. What is this? Defeat three unique hidden event bosses in one run. All right, I can do that. And bam, bam, bam. I'm just gonna go yeah, I don't know kit, why. I don't know why I'm not popping out your screen just watching it like bigger. There we go. All right, I'm, I need yes attack speed. Also, the background for this map is... Ugh. That's a really nice looking yes. game. This game's so pretty. I, I already thought Risk of Rain 1 was pretty, and then they made this game and remastered everything, and... Yes! Give me the profits cape, please. That bomb literally took over nine seconds to blow up. That is insane. Holy <laughs> yeah, you gotta be really precise Dude, also stuff. the cape on your character. Very cool. If a, if a sun went behind that moon, would we have to go uh, fight Dracula again? The sun can't go behind the moon, sir. Eclipse. Oh, behind the sun behind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> there is a thing called an eclipse, Maggie. I I thought you meant sun in front of the moon. Like that's not how that works. Maggie, you're the spaceman. I know I'm the space Dang. man. Stop. I, can't believe, I can't believe Maggie failed a space test. Who knew that bombs work so well as an industrial strength cleaner? I don't think that's how that works. Player, do you have a space class you can take Maggie to so he can relearn his space pack? Right item, what do I want? Uh. Uh. I don't know what I want. What do I want? <laughs> The mask. I don't want the mask, actually. The Gundam lessons room. I guess I'm I gonna guess take a hyper threader first. Pew pew. Actually, so how, does start how does this game compare to uh two? Uh, they're very different games. By nature of one's two D and one's three D. Yeah. Also, two is a lot easier than this game. This game is like really hard. So is this basically a uh, roguelike? Yes. Alright, my my hunger for attack speed begins. It makes uh, me think of, uh, it makes me think of what is this, 20xx? The Mega Man, like, X, like, clone? It's like a big roguelike. I could see it. Had a very also, rough wait. Position. I think there's a secret boss here? Yes. Yeah, is it a rough transition? I might die though. Um, risk of rain uh, going into 3D. Is it rough though? I mean, I haven't played a screen so I don't know. No, risk of rain 2 player, is awesome. Player, can we say the same thing about Sonic? I mean, don't don't like salty Sonic fans say that Sonic is yet to have a good transition to 3D. Oh, this oh my god, I was up. playing Sonic 06 earlier. <laughs> oh, right. Wait, why? 
Okay, uh, you know what? The Xbox 360. The level 20 but, achievement but, sucks. But why? 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 I'm why cheating. did you play that? Where, where Wait, you Dole, 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 did you not see the screen? The the picture I sent earlier. The what? No. The picture I sent in Maggie's chat. No. The, yeah, that, that that picture I sent oh. was me playing Sonic 06. Okay. Well, now I want that. That's what that picture Wait, Why? Why are you playing Sonic 06? Because the Xbox 360. Who are you playing it for? Uh, just you. All dried leg. <laughs> All dried leg. You're twisted. Lake. You're twisted. At least, at least play it for a stream so you have a reason. Cause uh, it's bad. This is an also, old version. Uh, I, I was running it through composite cables to make it run better. <laughs> oh my gosh. 480i baby. What, which is Dude. what I'm also playing Mario Galaxy in right now. 480i baby. Let's go. We don't do any of that progressive shit. All interlaced only. So, wow. uh, have you played Sonic 06 before? Uh, I beat Sonic Story. Congratulations. Now it gets worse. Um, <laughs> and by I beat Sonic Story, I mean I made it to the end of his story, and then I proceeded to skip the final boss by doing a by doing a glitch. You cheater! No, you gotta you gotta you gotta experience it in full. You can't just do that. Nah, man. Uh, I, I couldn't figure out a way to beat the boss, so I decided that it didn't exist. Oh, really? And, uh, I didn't think the final boss was... I don't. If I recall, I don't think Sonic's final boss was too terrible. It took me some tries. It wasn't it was working glitchy. for me. Yeah, it, it's I, glitchy. It's glitchy. Like, but it I mean, literally, like, the, the gimmick literally wasn't working in any way. I couldn't find a way to damage it, so I literally looked up a speedrun and just copied what they oh, did and killed it oh, in, that like, makes sense. seconds. Yeah, because I like, think I think at one point you have to, like, get onto something that where he flies around, and, like, trying to get on that is really hard. I don't really need the you gate, have, You but... have to run the burn into something, I believe, but it wasn't working. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's because the hitbox is so jank. What? I wonder if you stank this. Like, I remember, like, I remember I it took me some damage. tries to do it, though, but, like, yeah, it was very inconsistent. I'll, I'll tell you who I had the biggest struggle with, though, is uh, Shadow's boss, because uh, I know a lot of people say Silver sucks to play as, but ah, in Memphis, my opinion, Tennessee. yeah, it, in my opinion, I played the 360 version as well. I think Shadow's way worse. Like, Shadow just feels like he wasn't programmed all the way. Um, I was, to, to be fair, I was playing on emulator whenever I originally played Sonic Story, but now I can play on the actual 360. Yeah. And, oh god, the loads are really fucking bad. Oh yeah. Heard they're oh, worse yeah. on PS3 though. But yeah, like uh, I hope you appreciated Sonic's homing attack actually working because uh, I swear Shadows. Yeah, artifact worked, of like, command's really easy to find. I swear Shadows worked like 50% of the time for me, and it was very frustrating when they expected you to chain homing attack because it was terrible. Mm. Yeah, I made it like halfway through Shadow Story in my stream and then stopped playing the game to do other things and never went back. I'm actually going to take blame the you. career of Marvel. I don't blame you. So, unfortunately, like, I, I have like, to go back. Yeah, like, I mean, I think Silver works. Like, still, like, Silver works, it's just he's not good, but at least he works. Until you fight him in Sonic Story and he'll... Uh, oh, gosh. It's no use! It's no use! Which, um, I managed to beat him second try today, no damage, but the first nice. try, I, I homing attacked him the wrong way and died. Because, yeah, you uh, have to, like, you have to, like, dodge, you have to, like, get out of the way and wait for, like, the smallest opening before you can hit him. So I, I homing that, like, attacked him the wrong way, he sent me upwards into the ceiling, I got hit, and then I got sent upwards again because I couldn't move. Oh, gosh. Nice, the combo. Yeah, yeah he, can, he can easily stunlock you. What's really bad is if he stunlocks you in a corner with one ring, and then you just keep on picking up the ring, and then you're just there forever. The soft lock. Yeah. Oh uh, no, I, I got the I got the insta kill. Oh nice. But yeah. Um, I beat him no damage second try because of the whole opening thing. The fight is really easy, but he's also really stupid. Yeah, if you don't know what you're doing though, it's a big wall. Yeah. I've, I've seen a couple playthroughs of that fight, and it's just so broken. I saw somebody get glitched out of the fight and just be able to explore all of Soliana. Oh yeah, you can uh, you can get flown out of the end yeah, of the game. Yeah, yeah, and then I saw another one where uh, they just went to space. Yep, forever. 
because it uh it sends you to space until you uh you hit a wall but you don't hit a wall so you never stop yeah yeah you just <laughs> go into space oh two shrines of the mountain overloading mango so stage bad. two speaking of space i love space so, uh, oh, yeah, VGM, did you pick, did you eventually pick up the Sonic Gym where he turns small and just gets, like, infinite jumps forever? Um, I picked up that and also the really weird teleporting gem that you can just use to clip through walls. Oh, yeah, that thing's busted. Oh, I'm actually afraid of these guys, even though I only did Yeah, I, 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 I had a, I, I actually enjoyed no, using the infinite jump, uh, thing on whatever the ocean-based level was. Yes, I, I used it in that as well. I, I used the um, infinite jumps and also used the um, the gem to teleport through like all of the puzzles. Yeah. Oh, there's another shrine there. And skip Dang. all of them because you could just teleport through corners. Dude, yeah, that's the so game nice. Have corners. Yeah, I, I brought that infinite jump because I'm just like, screw it. There's no way I trust myself landing on tight platforms with Sonic's uh, loose aerial movements. <laughs> there's just no way. Yeah. Like I think I, I feel like it's a different experience watching somebody play those sticks, but then when you actually play it, it's just like, oh my gosh. It is really bad. Yeah. The other side of the game is leash that'd be fine playing, but 06, oh god. Yeah. Well, because like when I was watching, I was just like, oh, it still looks playable enough, and then you play it and you're just like, oh no. No, it's not. It's it it, it feels like way worse than it looks. And it doesn't look great. Oh yeah. Have you? Uh, uh, one have good you thing seen... the game has is the um, the cinematic cutscenes are are good looking. Yeah. I mean, the first cutscene looks absolutely gorgeous, and then you realize, oh, it's all downhill from here. Yep. So what's your question? Uh, I was gonna ask. Uh, have you heard of Project O Six? I have. I saw. I saw some videos of it. It actually looks good. Like, I'm like, it, it can't fix the absolute garbage mess of the story, but I'm like, it actually makes the game look playable. Oh, yes. It's, um, Sonic having a relationship with a human. Or not a relationship, <laughs> but uh, whatever the fuck the ending ended up being. You, have, you've, have, you've seen the ending of Sonic 06, right? Yes. Yeah, having a relationship with a human isn't the worst part. It's the human kissing his dead corpse. Like, know. what? <laughs> Completely unprompted, too. Oh my gosh, I because know, it's like... It's, no, it's it not the anchor even, level. It wasn't even needed to revive him. Oh my just gosh. Just like a random thing that happened. It's like, oh yeah, that just happened. She, she's just horny for dead Sonic. Uh, Memphis is in uh, Shadow's story, if I recall. Yes, um, I do Memphis. know of Memphis, Tennessee. Oh gosh, that 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 just reminded me of one of the stupidest boss fights in Sonic Story 2 was the uh really long uh crap, what's the name of the what's the name of the boss that's not Mephilis? The other one that you fight in the future? I hated uh... that one, it took forever. Oh, oh that stupid thing, the fucking um Yeah Iblis thing. Yeah, Iblis, thank you, yeah, Iblis. Oh, or each can... You can skip a lot of its phases, but yeah, it's it's garbage. Yeah, it takes like five minutes to uh, have an opening for a hit, and then Sonic flies up for like another two minutes before he like comes back down to fight him again. It's like it's just the longest, most stressful thing ever. And it's not it's not that it's hard, it's just it's so long you start getting stressed because like not what I, I mean it's good. You don't want to die way, and have to do it all over again. Well people, people wanted an 06 like story before Forzers came out, based. I mean a six's story is uh, it has some okay moments, but then it just... Oh, a laser turbine, yeah. The ending. Well, the problem with 06's story is it's not even consistent with itself. Yeah. Like, I would, like, I remember when I was playing it, like, I was trying to connect the dots on how stuff happened, and it just made no sense. Like, like, I mean, like I mean, all I'll the time it. travel, like, all the time travel shenanigans just, like, started contradicting itself, and... It's just bad. It's just really bad. Like, I swear, I swear there are, like, so many plot holes in that story. 
Like, like the at least, like the at least Sonic relationship definitely sticks out as a bad thing. It's not the worst. Oh, I got it. I mean, it's it's was, it's up there. It's too. up there, but like, it's up there, but like, yeah. As far as like actual story goes, like it's just, it's just no. It's not the stage I need either. Just remember, man, you need to play Unleashed though. I I played Unleashed. Um, I gave up on Unleashed. <laughs> um. I, I forgot what it, I forgot what level it was, but uh, no, it was before that. It was uh, it was one of the later areas, but you're the Werehog, and uh, I just got so frustrated wasting like 15 minutes trying to get past one section with nothing but flying enemies, and the Werehog can't do jack against flying enemies. And it was so annoying because like they put a one up before that section, like they knew it was gonna be bad. And I'm just I'm just there the whole time, constantly dying, coming back with that one up, and it's just like it. it I just wasn't having fun, so I just stopped. Oh yeah, Vicky, I, know, I know exactly what cutscene you're talking about. I, I need to uh, look up the know. level names. Um, but actually, um, there's one high speed section towards the end of the game though that fucking like it works really well and looks really cool. It, I hated the train level. <laughs> Um, it's like the, um, um, the one at the end. It's like right at the end, actually, in the, um, in the kingdom. The high speed the chase in the kingdom is really good. Where you're going up, like, the waterfalls and shit. I think that's probably, like, the one really good section of S6 that I actually like. And it felt so good to do it, because it, in my part, <clears throat> I also had zero lives, so if I died a single time at that point, it was over. Wait, what part did you like? Chance in this game. It's um, stupid. Uh, it, it's so, um, you know, the, the kingdom level. Yeah. Uh, the, the high speed chase of the kingdom level, I liked. Oh, that was that. Yeah, that actually wasn't bad. Uh, it was Shamar. Shamar was the uh, Shamar night. Or no, it was, I think it was no, it was Adabat. Sorry, it was Adabat nighttime. Ah. Okay, if these things are in order, yeah, it was. Yeah, if these things are in order. I was like one level away from Eggman Land. Eggman yeah, because like, like, like the longest level in the whole franchise, apparently. Yeah, because like I, I even got through Empire City with this stupid like walk on like the tiniest falling platforms with spikes on the sides. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, what what's so bad about Unleash is the Warhawk doesn't have a drop shadow. Mm. So like trying to judge like your distance and stuff is like impossible. But yeah, at at a bad I got stuck because the combat just frustrated me. Golly, that hurts knowing I was so close to finishing, though. Then again, if that, if that frustrated me, I think Eggman Land would have just been a nightmare. <laughs> Where means man? That's funny. Also, VGM, I have I have a hot take. Uh, I did not enjoy all the daytime stages. <laughs> rip. I I think I think it was I think it was Shamar daytime I didn't enjoy. There there was a couple. That I didn't like. I think I liked. Uh, I think I liked the first ones, and then uh, what was it? Chunan, the China one. Sonic the Manhog. Oh no, <laughs> dude. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I think I think I think what I didn't like about Sonic's controls was I didn't like his drift in uh, Unleashed. But I think I, I think this is me too coming off of. Yeah, I think I think it was me too though coming off of colors where I felt like Sonic's control was better. Well, that's a Sonic bit of a hot take. Order. I like Sonic colors. That is a hot take. People Sonic... are gonna fucking eviscerate you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I that's my hot take. I actually like Sonic colors a lot. People loved Sonic colors on release, but now it's like considered the downfall of a franchise. Oh wow. Well, that's stupid. I heard the re from what I saw, the remake is terrible, but I played the original. The remake had a lot of really fucked up bugs, but also some people were also, like, faking the bugs by using an emulator. Oh, yeah, that's bad. So it was hard to tell what the hell was real and what the hell was fake. Yeah. Dude, I I'll say this. There legitimate issues. Dude, I'll say this, though. I think I wanna... Colors has my, uh, out of the 3D Sonics, I think Colors has my favorite final boss. Because I, I just really thought it was cool how Eggman utilized all the different Wisp uh, you know, in his Dills? attack. You'll actually, you'll you'll really love, um, like, the final boss of the three games after that. 
<laughs> it's the same uh, fucking boss. I hated them. <laughs> I played I played generations. I played generations uh final boss. Uh I hated final boss. Uh, uh, I'm talking about Lost World and like the game. I haven't played. Okay, I haven't played Lost World. I did play. I did play Generations and Forces. Um, yeah, Forces has the same final boss, pretty much. Yeah, I mean Forces, it's just brain dead, and then Generations, it's like it's so stupid just trying to figure out what to even do. Like I was, con I remember being confused for a while. But Colors, no, I actually liked uh, Colors a lot. Colors had a really good final boss. Because again, I, I liked how he used the wisp, and I like and I like that they have the announcer to announce what attack you're doing too, so like you get ready. Like to me, it was a really creative boss fight, and I like seeing like the powers that you had used against you. Like I like stuff like that. Yeah, it feels like uh, they knew they hit gold with that boss, but they just started like reusing it in a lot of games. Yeah. Like, for example, Lost World is the exact same final boss. I think they even used the wisps in the fight too. Man, that's so sad. Because for some reason, the wisps were in Lost World because, of course, they were Sonic Colors sold well, so... Yeah. I mean, the they were also in Forces, because, of course, they were, because Sonic Colors Yeah, why well. do they keep bringing Wisp back? But, like, uh... What was I gonna say? Like, I, I know, like, the comic points I've seen from Colors, like, too many CD sections or too many short levels, but I'm like, I didn't really have a problem with that, per se. Like, I thought it was fine. Mm -hmm. I, w I will say, though, like, Sonic Colors is one of the prettiest games on the Wii. Yeah. Like, to me, it's up there with Galaxy in terms of, like, just how gorgeous it is. I just got played. I just fucking went right into a black hole. Yep. I mean, I, I liked oh. I liked Generations 3D levels. They were fine. I like, like black holes. I, but I I will say this. I, 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 I think maybe I just don't care for the drift movement in general in those 3D Sonic games. Like, I think Generations had better drift than Unleashed, but, like, I'm still not a huge fan of it. I don't remember Generations having Drift, but then again, it's been like yeah, Generations over a decade Drift. since I've played Generations, so... I, I only remember it because, like, I remember, oh, using yeah. it, I remember using it a lot in Chemical Plant Zone. But yeah, uh, but yeah, I, 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 they definitely did improve Drift, though. I think they mapped it to a different button, too, because Unleashed was awkward. Um, actually, Slayer, it does in the one Unleashed level. I'm sorry. Oh, it does. <laughs> you know what Frontiers does have, though? You can draw donks for, uh, speed. I didn't even know this was here. I just kind of guessed. Sorry, Slayer. I had to. Oh, the teleporter's <laughs> right heckin' here. You said Frontiers, it. Frontiers looks interesting, though. Frontiers, Frontiers is very good. <laughs> I think I have Shabali. the game. I, I need to see what I what I own. I don't even know. Fuck, why did I even? Uh, what kind of games do I own? I own way more than I should. Oh yeah, I do own Lost World. Oh, I do own Frontiers, okay. Does it have Drift on own you? Sonic you can 4? Wear... Why do I own um, Sonic 4? Drift. So, a funny thing, actually. Um, you can actually wear some, uh, some VTuber Drip. Um, the dog VTuber from Hall of Life. Um, the Japanese version, or... Is it Japanese? I think it's a Japanese version has some VTuber outfits. With mm. sound effects that you can wear. Wait, for Sonic? Yes. Oh, and it's the dumbest shit ever. Yeah, thanks, I hate it. That sounds hilarious. Um, there's also mods to add it in the English version. I don't know why, it reminds me of uh, when they randomly put Baby Metal in uh, Super Mario Maker. I mean, and that's... the only reason, the only reason I know Baby Metal is because my uh, brother loves listening to them. Wait, uh, in Super Mario Maker, like officially? Yeah, it was a costume. Oh, okay. You know what? That that's based. I I love that. Yeah, I I like. I didn't even know it was Baby Metal at first until my brother started telling me about it. I just thought it was like three random idol girls. Yeah, that's really cool. He had me listen to some of their music uh, when we evacuated from Hurricane. Oh, I don't know who Jumpu Girl is. I know they put uh, Chitoku from Nisei Coin. Like, the like they're, they, yeah, Jumpu Girl is cool too. But yeah, they, right. uh, Baby Metal has a good variety so of uh, sounds. Yes. Like, they're, they're actually enjoyable. And it's Mario so Maker? weird to think about yeah, they were Mario just Maker little kids. What? A Nisei Coin character in Mario Maker? Yeah, it was Chitoku, the main girl. Wait, who is the Jumpu Girl again? What was her name? Oh, does she? You know who I remember? Mario Kun with his big fat butt. Whenever, whenever he like, whenever he pressed down, he just like 
<laughs> Displace it for everybody to see. The character. What the fuck? Mario Maker's uh, a troll game. You can't convince me otherwise. Dude, my 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 oldest nephew when he was like a toddler, he liked that costume so much. Like he would purposely duck down and start jumping with Mario and call it a booty jump. That cracked me up. Did they put claymation sheep in Mario Maker 1? Dude, Mario Maker 1 had so many cool costumes though, like Yeah, that, I hope that's they the one big do thing that again with too. three. The inevitable Mario Maker 3. I would love to see it. Dude, if they could somehow like do Mar Mario Wonder in a Mario Maker game, that'd be so cool. I wouldn't doubt that they would put at least some aspects of Wonder in Mario Maker. Dude, I've been I've been watching some Mario Wonder mods. Probably not any really Wonder Flower things, but like you know, the new Mario forms. Yeah, I've I've been watching stuff though. It's interesting how they program the Wonder Flower effect. I'm I'm actually really interested in seeing a um uh, Dulce, you know about newer Super Mario Bros. Wii? I, I've heard yeah, of it. Elephant. I don't know much about it. Though. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious if someone's going to make a newer um, version of uh, Mario Bros. Wonder, because newer Super Mario Bros. Wii, in my opinion, is better than the original game. What's oh, this wow. about filling the chat window? Do as, do as you want? Question mark? Yeah, I have all this, dude. Uh, um, hey, hey, Slayer. I missed out on getting oh, Sonic okay, I understand. I, before I, they I, put in the I'm reading the chat. I promise. Hey, Slayer, I can play Sonic Chronicles now. <laughs> is that the bad RPG one? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, gosh. And 100% missile chance. Oh, wait. You have something to stream uh, your DS off of? Nope. Not right now, at least. Oh, just someone in my, someone in my community has been bugging me to get one for a while now, but I don't yeah. have one. I mean, to me, like, DS simulation is good enough overall. Like, I haven't really thought about it anymore. They're teaching Cold. scavenger. Like I like I would still like something like I still thought about wanting something for 3DS, but then I'm just like I stream so much junk as is, like what I don't think want. the expense would be worth it. Yeah. Like even though it'd be really cool to play like Link Between Worlds on stream or something for a curry game or something. I grow a lot with really a stream. Sonic Car C D and other ones on CDs. Dude, I got Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on GameCube, dude. I played the heck out of that multiplayer back when I was a kid. That was so fun. Yeah, I had, I had a period. I had a period in my life where I was obsessed with Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. I didn't. I didn't have Sonic on the Genesis, so that was like my first actual like in the play Sonic that wasn't at a friend's house. But heck, dude, those to me those games were a lot of fun back then. And the music was just so good. I think, and I think I rented, uh, I think I rented Heroes, and then I just kind of like fell out of it. I'm glad I did too, because what Shadow was the next thing to come out after that, and uh... Shadow is based. Shadow the Hedgehog has the best draw grinding in the series, though, which is so weird. I don't know the how they managed. Also a banger. Dude. Like, I don't know how they managed to, like, make something so good and this then everything is else is just questionable, questionable. Oh, I already oh, have, have the, the, uh, the third enemy base unlocked. That's cool. <laughs> oh, dude, I do remember. I do remember there was a time where uh, my friend was working at Blockbuster, Rip. And uh, he got early access to Sonic and the Black Knight, and I got to try it out for a bit. It, it was actually wasn't too bad from what I remember. But it was, it was really weird because I was still going off of like a Sonic Adventure mentality and going straight into Black Knight felt like a good class. Please come back. I, I, I want to say, I think around that time too, like, I, I forgot how, but I somehow watched the trailer for Sonic Unleashed, which was hmm. super rad. Like, it was such a cool trailer. Yeah, I can actually play a uh, Secret Ring. Oh, oh, baby. Is that? Is that the one with, like, the Reborn song or whatever it's called? The Seven Rings in Hand. Yeah, the Seven Rings in Hand. Yeah, that one. The song's, like, fine. It's just that it it's every song in the game. Yeah, it plays, um... It also plays when you fucking select the channel on the Wii menu, too. <laughs> 
You can never escape it. It's everywhere. Uh, man. It, it, That's it's, pretty it's, funny. It's the, um, the level select theme, the, the win theme, the title theme, I believe. Might be wrong on that one. Feel free to you know, it's... Uh, hold me on that. It, it's bad because, like, I like to play more Wii games on my Wii U, but the problem is I hate setting up my Wii U. It takes, like, every outlet ever. Wii U is ass. And then, and then you gotta set up the sensor bar and all that stuff too, and it's just like, it's so much work to play a game. Adults. Yeah. You, you can use candles for a sensor bar. I can use what? <laughs> you candles. Can use candles as a sensor bar. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so funny. Because <laughs> it, it's literally just infrared. So you set up like two candles and then like, Dude, adjust where the give candles me the are in. Like, I need. Every you. And it's like, mm, ah yes, it's sensor bar. Oh man. I mean, it to also be means fair, you, most... can, uh, you can quite literally adjust the DPI of your quote-unquote sensor bar by doing that. Man, if, it, if there was a nice way to just play, like, the more motion-based Wii games on emulator, I would just do that. Uh, do you have, like, a PS5 controller or something? You have a what? Do you have, like, a PS5 controller or something? A uh, PS4. Oh. Yeah. But I know that, um, I actually played Sonic and the Black Knight on my, uh, PS5 controller with Gyro. How did that feel? It actually worked really well. Here you bought Sega. Sega got bought by a company that made pachinko machines. What? Wait, wait, wait. hold on. Wait, hold on. Didn't Sega buy uh, Atlas? Where'd their money go? I actually want that. Oh, that was oh that was forever ago. That's why. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I'm dumb. That was company like never used Sonic beyond is anything beyond a hero for children, and then they made Shadow the Hedgehog, where they proceeded to fucking kill him. What? Shadow also said a swear word. Oh gosh. They he like was so dude. Sonic said a swear. Sonic doesn't swear. Wait. Did they have Sonic, a Sonic Sonic's the kind of character that? <laughs> dude, Sonic's the kind of character to be like, oh darn. He, he, uh, wouldn't, he wouldn't say, he wouldn't say potty mouth words on my, on my games. Where's that damn for chaos ever? <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Dude, I heard Poke Park's actually really fun. Poke Park is really fun, yeah. I only played the first one, though. I, I slept on that. Like, I didn't even know it existed. Hey, fuck. Japanese Sonic. Okay, okay, you want to know, you want to know the, fr you want to know the first game I actually heard Sonic where they, uh, let us swear. Sonic Adventure 2 and One of Knuckles' songs. I think it's the one where he's talking about Rouge being sexy and smooth. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I can't believe, oh. yeah, Sonic, Sonic, how dare you, how dare you do a light square in my video game. Dude, why didn't they have Charmy? Why didn't they have Charmy be more edgy? <laughs> oh, gosh, Charmy's like, why does Charmy exist? He's like the most pointless, stupidest character in the series. I hate Charmy. I was trying to think of a reason, and then I couldn't find one, so I have no fucking idea. Was he just invented for Sonic Heroes? Yes. Probably. Hi, oh, man, dude, Charmy is lame. Shovel was pretty cool. I mean, okay, so I'm trying to remember, wasn't Poke Park the one where you run around as Pikachu and then you do, like, cool things? Yeah. Yeah, it looked awesome. Knuckles Chaotix. Really Wait, fun. he was in Knuckles Chaotix? Really? Wait. Okay. Dude, oh. I don't know much about Sonic. I, I know that I know that SBO was um, in Knuckles Chaotix, and so was Vector. Yeah, I knew that. Okay, so I'm okay. You want you want to hear a hot you want to hear a hot take about Sonic? So people people have been saying that the quality has been questionable since the 3D games. I look back at the 2D games. I think the quality was questionable back then too. I think the 2D games were actually pretty all right. Yeah. Like, uh, like, I'll say this, like, with the 2D games and stuff like that, I think the quality is as inconsistent as the 3D games. I think it's always been a thing with the series. 
And it's not me bashing the series. I'm just saying that's how I feel like. I feel like it's always been that way. Like, I don't think 2D Sonic was perfect and then 3D Sonic ruined it. You didn't know Charmy was a guy. <laughs> yeah, I knew Charmy was a guy. No, Mickey. Oh, Mickey didn't know. But yeah, uh, I think for me, though, I I honestly kind the of game, find 3D Oh, Sonic, God, no, not the GameCube game. <laughs> like, as much crap as I give, like, from 3D Sonic games, like, I think I just find more fun with them because I feel like... Despite how buggy some of them can be, I feel like they at least have some consistency to them. Like, 2D Sonic... I mean, maybe this is just me playing Mania, but like, 2D Sonic, I feel like it covers more from an identity crisis and not knowing what kind of game it wants to be. Because like, when I was playing Mania, I was like, I can't tell if this wants to be a precision platformer, a speed, a speed game, or kill all enemies kind of game, and there's just... That's fair. It, and it's just, it just, it just got on my nerves. It's like, it would just switch from one thing to the next, and it's just like, I'm suffering for it. Like, my, like, my opinion, I feel like 3D Sonic fixed that issue with homing attack. Like, it's a homing attack so many problems that, uh, I feel personally like 3D Sonic. Dude, I'm, I'm getting all my bad takes today. What do I... All my bad takes. Controversial takes. But, but yeah, I, I I think homing attack is the best thing to come out of Sonic. Oh, there he is. That, that's that's the that's the that's the hill I will die on. That's the Sonic hill I will die on. I'm not that big on Sonic, so. Uh... I mean, I, I enjoy that it exists, and I mean, I think there's some funny stuff that comes out of Sonic, but I don't I don't think I would say I'm the biggest Sonic fan, like not by a long shot. Yeah, but. But I mean, I, I, I think I enjoy what's there for the most part. Yeah, I've heard bad things about Sonic 4 though, so, I mean, I don't know. Fuck. Sonic 4 is a mobile game. It looks like one. Except, not in the good sense of a mobile game. Also, I almost got some luck in the fight, so that's great. So, I, I will say this, what hurts me is like, uh... After my experience with Mania and like back then people saying it's like 2D Sonic and I didn't like it, like it's made me so much more deathly afraid to try other 2D Sonic. So I'm like, if this peak, I'm just gonna hate everything else. I and what's really... so bad? And what's so I... bad is when I watch people play Mania, I'm like, it looks fun. That's what made me want to try it. And then I played it and I just didn't All like right, it. Great. And I like, and like I'm afraid to try. Think... I don't think Mania is peak 2D Sonic in my opinion. Mania, yeah. I feel like is too stuck trying to. Um, cater to nostalgia that it kind of just yeah. loses itself. In my yeah. Opinion. Kind of a hot take there, but I did oh, not no. enjoy it. I, I, I quit at Chemical Plant because um, I, I got the stupid uh, getting crushed bug by one of the platforms, and I'm like, nope. Oh uh, my gosh, I hated it. Dude, crushing and mania was so terrible. Like, it just came out of nowhere. Like, I remember doing some running sections, and then it's like, Oh, they don't give you a warning when it's off. You just get crushed off screen, and it's great. I hate it. But yeah, like when I when I said that I that Mania looked really fun when I was watching it, like I felt the same way with Sonic Three and Knuckles, and I'm just like, I'm afraid to actually try because I'm like, what if I hate this too? So I like, think I'm gonna get over the fact that it's an old game and it's gonna be like dumb hard. And then you'll probably be fine. Yeah, but I mean, but I mean, there's games from that era that I like thoroughly enjoy too. Like, I, I think, I think for me, like, I might be convinced that 2D Sonic might just be something that I enjoy more watching than playing. That's completely fair. Yeah, yeah. Because, because I, I mean, when I watch them, they look fun, and I'm like, that's how I get my enjoyment out of 2D Sonic. Like, I'm perfectly fine with that. I would definitely say it's probably Sonic 3 and Knuckles is my favorite 2D Sonic game. Um, I fucking yeah. hate Sonic 2. Well, there's also Sonic CD. I love Sonic CD. Yeah. I, I hate Sonic 2. Um, I also really don't like Sonic 1 either. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll say this. Even from, like, watching Sonic 1, it's boring. Sonic 1 is very much the first Sonic game. Yeah, like, for like, better or worse. like, I did, I, I did dabble in Sonic 1 when I was a kid, like, at a friend's house. Like, legit, the only thing I remember liking is the first level. Like, I, I think the first level was good, and then everything else is kind of, like, cleared off. 
It's like for me, no, I've heard, no, I've heard bad things about Sonic 4 from a lot of different things. Like, it's been years. Like, ever since it came out, like, I've heard bad things about 4. And I have part 1 and 2, so, like, first, I don't even know why. Oh yeah, I got Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed as well. Okay. Wait, when nice. did I get Sega All-Stars Racing? Dude, I don't remember getting half of these games. You need why do I have so much to transform? What the fuck? Like, why do I have so much Sonic? When did this happen? Yes, inflation. Wait, I, I own more East games than I thought I did too. What the heck? I have like four other East games that I haven't played on my team. What in the world? I, I've become one of those people. I've become one of one those, those people who, have Steam, who has a Steam library and he doesn't even realize he owns like half of the games he owns. Oh my goodness. Rip. Drop Galaxy? <laughs> like, why? Bought the Sonic pack? You know, I probably did. That that makes a lot of sense. I probably bought the Sonic pack. You know, that actually makes a lot of sense. I probably bought it for Adventure 1 and 2, and then it came with a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I did buy I did buy bundles, especially from Humble Bundle back in the day. That, that's that's why I own the Final Fantasy 13 trilogy. Yeah, right, Slayer. <laughs> and Final Fantasy VIII. I don't even know if I want to try 13 2 or Lightning Return. I wasn't super huge into 13. I might have to not get hit at all. Final Fantasy? For this one, Mark. They turned into the Sonic Ground Table. It's my fault, dude. I just noticed that BG was talking about his reference. playthrough of Sonic 06. <laughs> and then it just, like, turned from there. Dude, I, I, think, I think what it is is Sonic is just a franchise I have a lot of takes about. Know. I don't know why. And it's a very, it's very much of that kind of franchise. It is. Like, I can't really think of many other franchises like where I can like have so many takes and it feels so controversial, but also true. Y'all's favorite rain. Also, <laughs> the funny thing is I'm actually kind of, uh, I'm kind of enjoying myself playing those six. You want to know something funny? I'm I kind of did. Out, outside, outside of Shadows campaign, I actually enjoyed it too. Oh, what? <laughs> it's twisted, right? Like, it's I remember, so bad, like, but it's also so funny. Dude, dude, you wanna know what's so bad, VGM? Is I played Mania in 06 around the same time, and I was legit saying at that time, I was having more fun with 06 than oh, Mania. Lord, no! <laughs> I wonder how many people I would trigger if I, like, all of the, from, like, all of the fucking community? <laughs> dude! <laughs> oh, oh my, my gosh. God. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about Sonic fans since, like, oh my gosh. Like, Ace Attorney, like, Ace Attorney, like, from what I remember, used to be one of the, like, most chillest fan groups. I don't know how they are now, though. I don't yeah, even I, like, like, hear Sonic... anything about Ace Attorney. You what? I don't even know anything about Ace Attorney fan, uh, community, so I guess that's oh, a yeah. good thing. Yeah. I was a part of it way back when, when it was still super, super Ooh, niche. Anchorage? I, I, I think that's probably I think that's probably why too. It was so super niche that everybody was just happy to find another fan of Ace Attorney. But yeah, like like the two like the two big fandoms that I'm aware of won't ever talk to is Sonic and Pokemon. Yes. And I okay, I, I will admit I think I have a lot of takes on Pokemon too, but uh Anchor, let's go. Yeah, feelings every time I see that. Wait, what? Feelings that I like that I had more fun with O6 than Mania? Like, I will admit, Mania, I think, is the way better built game. Like, it's just not for me. Like, I, I, I think, I think that's the best way I play this. Mania was not for me, like, I preferred Freedom Planet, if I'm looking for that style kind of game, because Freedom Planet, I felt it had more consistency. But, like, I, but I think, I think Mania is very serviceable for fans of 2D. 
It just wasn't aimed towards me as a person. I want a little bit more. Uh, that said, that said, I think Mania has some of the most amazing music in a Sonic game. Like, the music was so good. The presentation is fucking amazing. Oh, it's a gorgeous game. Like, it's amazing. I just, I just didn't have fun with it, but like, I'm, I'm happy, like, honestly though, like, I'm really happy for the people that wanted a 2D Sonic game, and, because I, I think it fully delivered on that front. Like, I, like, I think it's a really, I think it's a really solid, uh, Sonic game for those who are into the, uh, are into the 2D Sonic. Like, yeah. I don't think, I don't yeah, think okay. Sonic, Sonic Mini is a bad game. I think Sonic was, it was a terrible game, but I had more fun with a terrible game than a quote unquote good game, so yeah. I mean, most of the games I play are just hot fucking garbage, so. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've had my share of garbage on stream too. It's alright. You play Bad Rap, right? Huh? Have you played Bad Rap? I do not believe I have, no. You should play Bad Rap. If you, if you want to play some garbage. I had, I, had, I have a friend, I have a friend whose like, tradition is to like, give people bad rats once they get their Steam account for their first time. Can yeah, ba bad rats! What? No, okay, I'm curious what people are saying about Superstars. Yeah, I don't know much about Superstars. I, I slept on that one. That game just came out. Yeah, I, I know. I know. There's a commercial where they're just like, "No, right!" And it plays like three times on Nickelodeon. Like, my gosh, in a row. So glad I have nephews that uh, on that. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Bad, Bad Rat VGM is basically uh, what if physics. Oh. It was the meme game to buy for Sony. You know what's so bad though, Mickey, is I actually kind of had fun with Bad Rat. Right, I don't know why I have fun with some really terrible games. But didn't June Sonoy like do like Sonic Adventure and stuff? Like what the heck? Yeah, it's a physics it in like a good way or a bad way. Okay, so, uh, so about yeah, Bad Rats PTM, so about Bad Rats, so there's a button in the game that will show you how to solve the puzzle if you're having trouble with the puzzle, yeah. and uh, the physics are so terrible that sometimes the how to show you thing doesn't, can't even solve itself. <laughs> Overloading Dreamator. It is so funny, it's so funny when that happens. <laughs> Yeah, like, so I'm not really sure what you mean by... Oh. Like, what do you mean by, uh, like, ear poison? Did it mean, like, ear poison, like, it's so good? Or, like, it's so bad? You'll do it properly and it won't work? Yeah, I know. And then sometimes you'll just make things up and it just happens to work. They hate it? I don't think it's music is that offensive, honestly. Anytime you touch synthesizers, I mean, I haven't... I haven't listened to anything from, uh, Superstars. It's not like the- it's not the best music ever, but it's not bad either. I don't- it's just not good again. I mean, just knowing how his past compositions were, though, I mean, I thought he was a good composer. I mean, Golden Gun, yeah, he is. So is Masada in Pokemon, but my gosh, do I hate his, uh, hate as a game director. Okay, no, I better not start getting into Pokemon hot takes. Oh, too so bad. Um, uh, my hot take is that I don't actually like Pokemon music. <laughs> I don't like modern, I don't like a lot of modern Pokemon music. I think they have different head composers than they used to as well, and it shows. Like, the tunes just aren't as memorable as they used to be. Like, a lot of it just feels more atmospheric and very... generic? Yeah. Actually, like, my, I, so, my main issue with Pokemon music is that, yeah, the Overwood music is kind of generic, and the battle themes feel... 
I don't know. It feels like they're it's... trying too hard to copy yeah. Gen One. Oh, just... I, I yeah, I feel I feel that too. Like I feel like Gen Six was honestly the last time like I liked the soundtrack as a whole. Probably in Sun and Moon, really it was like nice. in Sun and Moon, it was like half of it I really liked, half of it I didn't care for, and then Gen Eight, I just like there's like maybe one song or two songs in there that are like I like. Yeah, I don't have anything about Scarlet Bite. I will say this though. I think they had some, they had to have had a different teamwork on Arceus because I actually like the music in Arceus. Like, dude, the whole like the whole like the whole like what like, Euro was it? It was like a Eurobeat like remix of uh, Palkia Dialga theme uh, when you're like fighting or like fighting Based. against them. Like, it was so good. <laughs> dude, like I, I actually like Arceus music, but yeah, like. So everything I do in the main games now, like I just haven't cared. I think I think they said Toby Fox got more involved with Scarlet and Violet though, so I mean I'll see how that turns out. I like his music on Undertale and uh Delta Rain. Oh. I thought Toby just did the the one song in the battle tower for uh, Sword and he, Shield. He did for Sword and Shield, but that's like post game, so like I didn't really do it. I think I did Battle Tower a little bit because I kind of unlocked something because I wanted to do something with my nephew in Pokemon. Yeah, like, I'll be honest, like, if it wasn't for streaming and then uh, my nephew wanting to do stuff with me, I would have just, like, gave up on Sword and Shield forever ago. Yeah, there was some kind of Battle Tower in Sword and Shield. I don't remember exactly what it was called. I don't really remember any of the songs, that's fair. Swing missiles. Yeah, I don't remember where it is. I think it's in the final city, which is a big empty husk of nothing. Also, I think Eternaut is still the most disappointing like legendary ever. I think it's cool. See, I'm not really huge on it. It's kind of there. Oh, we got it's the the Nintendo uh, seal of here's a one up. Don't die, idiot. <laughs> More of a hard shit. I love that. Oh goodness. Forgot this bubble. Yeah, but it's pretty... I will say this. I will say this. I think to me the only good thing that came out of Gen Eight was. Uh, I think Count Tundra was actually fine. I think I spent enough of my streams, though, talking about my opinion on Isle of Armor. I'll just say I hate Isle of Armor with a passion. Alright, need to get level 20. Yeah, I got the I got the DLCs because uh, my nephew had wanted to do them with me, so I gave. Oh, please be the right stage rant. He was he was a cute elementary school kid, and he wanted to hang out with me, and it's like, you you want to you want to be good to your nephew, you know? You want to be a good uncle. It's not the so. right stage rant. Yeah, I I, I I did it with him. Overloading magworm. Oh, there's like seven of them. Yeah, like, to be fair, since, like, uh, since, like, the DLC lets you, like, have multiple people, like, play at the same time. I don't only take 10% like, damage, but I'm afraid. Like, it was, like, it was nice getting to do that, even though it was laggy as heck on that, but still. It was, it was nice, it was nice getting to do stuff with him. Daggy, so did you turn on the randomizer and, did you turn on, uh, Bullet Hell and Crappy Ribby? Random bullets? Like, I what is well going have. on? Are you summoning the sun? Yes. I am the sun. Uh, what did I want? Good night, dude. Uh, sure. Yeah, I did a single mountain try and there's seven of them. Granted, I'm on like stage 20 or something. But yeah. Uh so I gotta ask, is the Scarlet Violet DLC out yet? Yeah. It is? It's How? I think it is. I, I'm curious what the thoughts on that are. Cause from what I what I heard, they put it out without actually fixing, like, the core problems with the main game. Oh, uh, correct. It actually, um, the update that introduced the DLC added more bugs. 
That's <laughs> incredible. Like, like you like bugs you can catch in your pokeballs, right? Uh, no, bugs is in um. The longer you play, the more the game breaks. For, oh. For worse. And bugs oh. in the main story that weren't there before. Oh. And bugs in general that also weren't there before that makes the game worse. Oh my god, how do they, how do they, okay, why? Epic Game okay. Freak moment. Okay, usually when you're doing DLC, you're also fixing issues with your core game to make usually, it yes. play better. For every company that's no, not Game just, Freak. So they're just adding more on top of it, which is just causing more. So content. Magic, uh, you no. actually, uh, you don't understand the, the modern game industry. So a lot of games what? recently have actually been doing exactly that. You know, Raincode as well. Raincode is doing exactly um. that. Uh, their recent updates have been introducing stop blocks and weird bugs that did not exist on launch. Texture corruption cool. bugs that I kept complaining about and the flashing. Uh, that wasn't on launch. That was introduced in, a, in an update. Oh, that fixed shit. That's so terrible. It's it's holy crap. Shit. So is it only like Nintendo published games that are actually fixing issues with each update? Holy crap, these things are terrifying. I have no idea. Well, no, because it's it, it Pokemon and Nintendo published. Yeah, but it's made by Game Freak. I, I guess it'd be Nintendo Develop, sorry. Nintendo Develop. I'm sorry. That's yeah, the Mocha Unlock? That's really dumb, but I'm really happy about that. Launch bugs to start with where people playing on emulators. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I, I've still I've still heard of a lot just from uh, on the Switch, though. Yeah, all the bugs I've heard of and uh, seen are from ones that um, Soma and Kira have seen, and those are all on Switch because I will live with them, so I've seen it. Dude, I'm not gonna lie though, like, part of me wants to stream Scarlet just for like the funny, like, glitch lol moments. Um, I know, I've heard several times of them having to restart their game to get the fucking picnic thing to spawn. Um, oh. I know Kira in the DLC had to restart her game to get the fucking DLC story triggers to work. Wow. Uh, cause they just stopped working, so you have to save and then restart the game, and no, wait, it's there. That's so bad. Maybe that happened like twice? Dude, I remember like one of the funniest jokes I saw about the Pokemon franchise was like, they're like, oh, Gen 5 introduced a lot of bugs, as in bug type Pokemon. And they're like, but Gen 9's got them topped. <laughs> oh, man. I think the game at level 5 is just play quite so much shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I heard that people that actually like play through the game, they think it's fine. Yeah, but I fun. think I think my issue though is just even Legends Arceus, like everything's just so not polished. Yeah. Like I like I'll admit, I think Arceus is the most fun I've had with a Pokemon game in a long time. But I mean, there is a lot of stuff that I better if you look past because I mean it is there. It's a glaring issue with the games that Pokemon's been making in general. Something I was thinking of though is um, I think the um Pokemon could do with looking a little bit more like um, the Super Mario RPG remake. I think yeah. that game actually looks really good. Yeah. It also runs at 60 FPS and not fucking 20. Dude, I, it's almost I, I, like I, we can get things to run better. Like, I tell you what blows my mind is like, the game, they were some of the best looking games on the 3DS. Yeah. Like, heck, Pokemon used to have like some of the best looking games on the console, on, on their handhelds in general. And then, and then you just get, or, like, okay, I'll say this. I think Let's Go Pikachu, Eat and Eevee, to me, from what I've seen, are the best looking Pokemon developed games. If I go by Pokemon games in general, I think Pokemon, new Pokemon Snap is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, 100%. Pokemon, like, if we can get, like, the new, the new Pokemon Snap, like, Pokemon, just that's yeah. how it looks, that would be fucking great. I mean, it's probably some bloody shit, but... Yeah, and I mean, I imagine it's it, it's gonna be a bigger scope of game than Snap, but still, like... Snap is so pretty. Is I, really? I, think, I think the reason why people were upset with the Diamond Pearl remake is it looked like a mobile game. <laughs> like, like, that's my take from it. And I, I think I think also it just didn't look like enough effort was put into a remake as compared to uh, 
Fire Red, Leaf Green, Heart Gold, Gold Silver, and then uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Star Sapphire. Like, it, it basically looked like the exact <laughs> same game with nothing new put into it, and from what I understand, that's pretty much what it was. So was it maybe think... like a studio that really know what they were doing now, or like a newer studio? Um, from what I understand, and I could be wrong on this, but I saw a couple sources that were saying this, is apparently uh, the company they hired to do uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, they wanted it to, they told them to make it mediocre because they wanted their other games to stand out more. Oh, it's even worse than I, than I thought! Ah, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's even fucking worse. Why I not? think that's yeah, terrible. If, it, if that's actually true, that is awful. If, if that is true, which I've heard a lot of things about Game Freak, so I don't, don't even fucking know what's true anymore. Yeah. If that is true, that's the plot. But and again, like, apparently I, they're working at it to also, like, really shitty, so... Yeah, and, like, I wouldn't say something like that, but, like, I've seen that from multiple courses, so I'm really trying to believe it's true. It sounds like something they would do, especially if they knew the state of the, the games they were going to be releasing. Yeah. Which they did, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I will so say this. No? I will say this, Slayer, like... As much of a disappointment as Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl are, at least Gen 4 fans got Legends Arceus, which I think is awesome, so... I mean, at least they got one great game out of it, but as far as, like, a remake goes, yeah, it's very, like, it's so underwhelming. Like, I know people were very yeah, split it's fucked on Omega... Too, because Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were, like, beautifully crafted games, a lot of love yeah. poured into them, but... Like, they're controversial, like, from the fandom, from what I've heard, but, like, you can tell there's a lot of love and dedication put into those remakes. Like, you yeah, can't deny Yeah, I thought it was the most boring game, uh, most boring yeah. Pokemon game I've ever played, but, uh, I can't deny the fact that it's... The presentation is amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, a wonderful game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I personally liked Oris, but I know there's people that don't. But, yeah, like, there, there's a lot of love put into Oris. Oh, and here's the other funny thing about Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl 2, is the way it was released, like, it needs a digital patch to fully work, otherwise you don't get the ending cutscenes, uh, you don't get the actual music in the game, instead you get some midis or whatever that, uh, oh, are basically, yeah, like, I remember. That was yeah, it's like beta music, too. yeah, it's like beta music. So yeah, if you don't update, if you don't update your, uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl with the, uh, required patch, uh, it's disgusting. How being her one. I remember that was actually the version that was leaked early and people were shitting on it and demanding Game Freak to like fix it. And the way that they fixed it wasn't like, you it's know, like just the other half of the game releasing the game. Download. <laughs> yeah, instead, instead of like, you know, I don't know, making the game or fixing it, they're like, oh yeah, they, they released the leaked version on the eShop and then we're like, oh my, yes, yeah, day one patch. Yeah. So like, also I remember the leaked version didn't even have a fucking title screen. Oh, yeah. Like a, like, a week from release, there was no fucking title screen. Half the music was gone, which made it into I, the day, into the actual release itself. I think I heard some cutscenes aren't even in there. Yeah, they're not. It's really fucked. What's really terrible, though, is, like, when, in the, in the far future, when Nintendo shuts down online services for Switch, like, you're not going to have a way to play that game properly anymore. Me? You're going to be playing, you're going to be playing a hot mess. Which is really, really sad. Like at least, like at least with like other Pokemon remakes stuff like that, like you can play them like decades later, and it's still, it's still a good experience. But yeah, there, there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon pulled a modern gaming with that one. Literally. Okay, if I can if I can share my hot take as to why I'm not a fan of Masuda as a uh, president, it was one thing that he said that I don't care about at all, and it was his opinion on children as gamers and how like they're so easily distracted and stuff like that, and so that's why Pokemon's making their games the way they are nowadays, where it's like ADHD, you gotta make it free, you gotta make it easy, you gotta do stuff like that, or kids aren't gonna hold their attention, and I'm just like, you're such an idiot, cause. I'm 
I, I look I look at my older nephew and I'm like, he's playing complicated games at like four or five years old, like Breath of the Wild having a great time. He's playing Fortnite, he's playing Minecraft, like stuff that uses your brain, stuff that takes patience, stuff where you have to think. And then you got Masuda over here saying, no, they're too stupid to do that. And I'm like, no. I, I, I completely just, yeah, I, I lost any respect for that guy. All right, let's just cheat one soon as well. With Are you playing this on PC? No, I'm playing this on the Wii. modifiers. Go down. Yeah, like I never had a problem with the whole Dexit thing in Gen 8. Like that never bothered me. Cause like I never catch all the Pokemon anyway. But uh, yeah, yeah it, it's just it's just some of the other stuff that he was that he'd say or like contradict himself, and it's just like it was it was more about like. Yeah, I just can't trust anything that's coming out of your mouth anymore. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Like, the things I think that people are getting upset over were really stupid. Like, there, there to me, there's plenty of other viable things to get upset over. Like you the fact probably that there's DLC? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess DLC's acceptable now. Yeah. Which is dumb. I don't like the. I, I, I am really biased against DLC existing in games, honestly. But I'm biased against DLC existing when it's used to complete a base game. Yes, or when it's planned uh, before a game releases. Yeah. But my yeah. exception for that is like fighting games, because like obviously they're gonna release more characters as time goes on. And that, I'm fine with that. That's cool. Well, another another great example too for me is Xenoblade. Um, the DLC they the DLC they have for one is they're using uh, they're using cut content from the first game to make a whole new story, a whole new experience, and stuff like that. Uh, Xenoblade Two did the exact same thing, and they're basically like their own versions of games. Like they revamp the battle systems and everything like that, and make it feel like its very own video game. Like the original is a very complete experience. The DLC is just like extra story, extra stuff, and you get plenty out of it. And I, I think I think that's good with what DLC is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan when DLC is needed to help make a game experience more complete. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I think a base game should be solid on its own and not have to require DLC to fully enjoy it. I, I think that's what makes Mario Wonder like stand out so much too in like this modern day is just you have a full line experience without requiring like DLC and junk like that. You can just have fun with a game and it's okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and see that's that's a good thing, Mickey. Like I'm I'm perfectly happy with that. Like I don't have anything against DLC as long as it's good DLC. Like, to me, to me, to me yeah. DLC, DLC should add to the experience. It shouldn't complete the experience. Yes. And that is That's something I love about the DLC in Outer Wilds. Oh, Maggie's trying to sell me on it. Again. <laughs> like the story, <laughs> the story is so complete without it. But then, like once you play it, it's like this integral piece that you never knew was missing and you can't live without it anymore oh yeah it's so good I've heard a lot of good things about outer wilds it's so good i love was it all game. for maggie <laughs> no actually <laughs> uh surprisingly god i love that game so much oh man <laughs> By the way, I, I apologize if I'm talking too much. No, it's fine. <laughs> I, I feel like I have been. I do kind of feel a little bit like I'm just the, <laughs> the background game to the conversation. <laughs> but that's fine. I'm having a good time, at least. Dude, it reminds Sonic me, it reminds me, conversation. Dude, it reminds me of watching Brain Scratch comms, how like they just record their gameplay and then just have unrelated conversations over the gameplay the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what's happening. Yeah, it is what's happening. Right, yeah. I make the occasional remark about something in the game while you guys are talking. <laughs> That's pretty much what they do. <laughs> oh my gosh. And what, what's so funny is they go on Sonic tangents a lot too, because they, they're all fans of Sonic. 
Oh, I yeah, know. just don't confuse Outer uh, Wilds with the Outer Worlds. One of them true. is Space Fallout, and one of them is a space storytelling game that is incredibly beautiful and the best thing ever created. Nope. Okay, I do have Outer Wilds. I had to, I had to remember, because just in case. So what have you been doing the whole time? <laughs> I've just been gaming. I've been working on unlocks. Some okay. of the more annoying ones I'm cheating for. I have my damage set to 200% and my damage taken set to 10. Yeah, like, like I've been watching you, but like I'm also distracted by myself. A little breeze galaxy. I think I can cheat this galaxy if I'm not mistaken. Are you at VGM? Uh, I'm at like sure, 30 spark, stars. Please. Oh, nice. I don't think I don't recall Mario Galaxy being super long. I think it took me like a couple streams. Uh. I swear there's a way to cheese the shit out of this galaxy. Which galaxy? Uh, Bubble Breeze. Could be wrong though. Oh, I think it's in the next area. That's what it is. Are you planning on uh, oh, Starfield doing is Space for... Skyrim? So, are you planning on doing All Stars for Galaxy Two? For Galaxy Two? Yeah. That's a hassle. <laughs> uh, fuck. That's two hundred forty-two stars, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's a lot. Yep. I, I think the green stars are like obtuse to find. Yeah, they're incredibly dumb. Yeah. No, There's we're... also the fucking Daredevil run. Oh um, yeah. At the end of the game. Or the, the perfect run, excuse me. Yeah, that was. Just uh, play the hardest level in the game, but don't take damage, idiot. Better know. There you go. Isn't Maggie excited that we're talking about his favorite game? <laughs> this is my favorite game. <laughs> his favorite game. We were yeah, for I a remember. minute. <laughs> Dude, I remember how excited you were when uh, you found all the stars in Galaxy 2 on stream. And... Off, and it was great. Ooh, 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 uh, I think it's gotta be a laser turn mine. Isn't as good as the fanboy's claim. <laughs> did he actually get all, all stars in Galaxy 2? No. I don't think he did, yeah. I think he only streamed it like once or twice. Uh, I streamed it a like, few times, but I got up to like. I don't, I don't even know if I got like 40 stars or something. That might have been it. Right, Maggie just kinda like. You did, did you 100% Galaxy 1? Yes, I love Galaxy 1. I don't like Galaxy 2, though. Oh, is, it, is it... Maggie, is it Lava? To be fair, Galaxy 2 is supposed to be, like, was no. originally planned to be DLC for Galaxy 1. So... Yeah. Well, from what I understand, they had so many ideas with Galaxy 1 that they realized at that point we should just make it into another game instead. Yeah. It's meant to I be DLC to be... until it was not no. It went. To... It, it I wish worked. they just made it into Galaxy One because Galaxy One feels like a better crafted game than Galaxy Two. Well, I think I think so too. I think so too. Galaxy One, it's like they chose all the stuff that would flow better, whereas Galaxy Two is like all their like extra ideas that they really dug and they put them all. in. So Galaxy Two is probably more of a mismatch, uh, mesh of different stuff. But I mean, I, I I still think I still think the formula is pretty sound. Like I, I remember playing Galaxy Two. Like I I enjoyed it a lot. Oh, I can go to more Beach. Not as much as Galaxy One, but like ga Galaxy, Galaxy Galaxy Two Galaxy Two is an interesting thing because it's like the levels are definitely harder than in one. Like, yeah. like, like they like they start you off right off that like saying you I need a master long jump. And go there. I mean, I'll try. Yeah, cause I, cause oh, belated like, enemy. Because yeah, I feel like in Galaxy One, like long jump was like cheese a lot because like a lot of the levels are just designed around doing normal jumps. Like, Galaxy Two very much feels like like an add-on kind of thing, which it was yeah. like, planned to be. Yeah, but I I do feel like Galaxy Two though, to its credit, like makes you use more of Mario's moveset, where Galaxy 1, it feels more optional. Mm -hmm. You heard Boar Beach? What? What? <laughs> Boar <laughs> Beach. Mario 65. Maggie, what have I done to your chat? Uh, when, when is Mario 65? Let's see, Mario came out in like, what, 81? 
So give him like another 20 something years and then he'll be 65. That was a save? How the fuck did that work? You're coming over to Bonk VGM? This is a cursed teleport location. I mean, if I was. I would happily get Bonk to build for Rosalina. I love doing that one. Grab the one up, hit the fucking spike bomb, and die. Yup. Oh. Was I meant to die here? Oh no. Path for experts only. What? Thank you, Slayer. What the? Oh, you're on that level. I'm, I'm getting fucked over. I, I touched the wall in the wrong way and the bubble breaks and I just like, well, thanks. Yeah, I, I got you up. I, I did see that there's a cheese for this level. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was. Yeah. You jam into this, Doug. It's a good song. I, I, think, I think it was something like getting Mario to like jump over things or something like that. Or you can just skip the bubble entirely. Yeah, I forget. It might not have been this one, but a different version of this level. I don't know. No, Mickey, you're oh, it, fine. It was here. Brilliant, but here. Yeah. 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 Like they, like they jumped over. Here. Yeah, you jump from the start and you get to the start. I want the umbrella too. What but I, I thought. Think it's pretty, I think it's pretty precise. You never play a 3D Mario game? No. I think you're fine. I didn't. I didn't play a 3D Mario game for a very long time. There's still an Imp Overlord left, bro. Please let me just leave. No, I have to do this before the teleporter. That makes sense. Okay. Well. Poor Maggie. He was wanting the rain to return. He didn't want the Imp Overlord to return too. Oh, I destroyed the Imp Overlord. That's good. I have an Aether Slayer. I've only played 2D Metroid. Okay, I can start building right now. Granted, granted, after playing 2D Metroid, like, I definitely understand why Metroid has such a big fan base. Like, I, like, I stupidly didn't understand having only played NES Metroid when I was a kid, and I thought I hated that game. Um, I'm gonna be right back because I actually have to grab my phone charger. Okay. So my phone doesn't oh. die. It's time for the run to die. Metroid 2 on Game Boy is interesting. Dude, I will I will say though, like AM2R is really fun. Like for a fan made game, like they they did awesome on it. Which game? Yeah, I probably haven't said this enough, Maggie, but like, music in this game is really chill. Yeah, the music in this game is beautiful. Yeah, I think it eventually got nintendo but like, I'm sure with the Google search, you can still find it around. What game? Like, they, like, like the full release already came out, so people are gonna put it up uh, anyway. That game. Uh, yeah, AM2R. Yeah, I, pe people are just gonna still find it no matter what. Don't be cremators. Yeah. Like, like, I think, like, I think. Yeah. Like I think that's rule of the internet. Like once something oh, wow. pops I out, like one. it's it's gonna stay no matter what happens. Um, it's still being developed. So, it worked on it was. So like if Maggie posted his news for like five seconds and then deleted it, uh, his news are up on the net forever. That's try to I'm sorry, Maggie. It's all good. That is called the Streisand effect. Yep. Yeah, I'd, I'd, re I'd recommend AM2R though. It's good. It's fun. Well, red. And I, I think I think AM2R has a really good uh, difficulty balance. 
What do uh, I want? I want fireman cheeks. Oh, I wanted the umbrella. Remember having to like somehow pull oh, the plug on the base? Um, I oh, mean, like drain water or something? Yeah. Yeah, I think there's something like that. Did either drain the water or made the water go up? I don't remember. Monsoon doesn't feel so hard when you only take 10% damage. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I deflected my fall damage. Alright, here we go. Let's, let's just get this over with. Wait, this doesn't feel right. There's a pipe that leads to the star, like, immediately. What? Oh, beautifully. Dude, I think I'm gonna spend all day tomorrow just, like, doing nothing and sleeping. <laughs> oh, I already have 100% missing. That's good. I'm gonna have to take some time to do that myself. What do I want? Ooh. I want a charge field generator. They, like the past few days have been kind of bleh, but I've been having a flare up today, which has been really bad. I, it's been like a long time coming during the move, and I've like kind of suspected it was going to happen, but it's really annoying. Getting sick or? Uh. There's like oh, a weird really flare-up of whatever I have, where it'll be like fine, and then it'll start getting worse, and I'll start getting like electrical sensations all over, and then I oh, hurt okay. pretty much everywhere. That doesn't get all the reds I want. No, it's not fun. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I hope you get to feeling better soon. Yeah. No way, dude. There's a whole long list of symptoms, but. Yes. Man, now now I feel bad just complaining that I've just been like super, super lightheaded and dizzy. <laughs> fair though? Very fair. Yeah. Yeah, like the last time I remember like feeling really strongly this way was when we had a cat and I was that way like all the time. I didn't even realize it was out. Yeah, I didn't even realize it was allergies until she had passed. It was like a couple years after she had passed, I was like, I don't feel dizzy anymore, what is this? <laughs> and we had her for like, what, 14, 15 years? Hmm. So like, I just never knew. I just thought I was just naturally dizzy and lightheaded. Damn. All right, I'm just gonna get out of here. Wait, is that fucking green star? Yeah. That's not a normal star. I there's, uh, There's three of them in this game. Yeah, they uh, they lead the music. special they lead the special challenge galaxies. Uh, I didn't know that there was just a green star there. Yeah, there's uh, three of them. I, found I don't the remember. Star. I don't remember where the other two are, but I don't think the green stars are that hard to find in this, in this game. It's always get a job. I mean, the thing is though, like. That, that's stuff got time like, later. <laughs> it's still it's still legit. I think it's I think it's okay to like let it out. 
Granted, though, I I feel like most of the, I like I I have such a skewed like view on like myself though, because I feel like I complain all the time. But I think I've noticed I mostly just cards. do that Providence to myself. Not gonna be free. Cause like I try not to complain when I'm around other people, and then I'm always calling other people like apologize and say I'm sorry if I'm complaining too much. And they're like, yeah, and I'm like, oh. I don't know. I think I think sometimes it's like good to complain. Yeah, you I mean, you need. I mean, you get all get bottled out. up. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Yeah, like my like my bladder devices, like my bladder devices lately have been like bugging the snot out of me, like really bad. And dude, I tell you, when I'm in my room, like all I do is just spray. Oh. <laughs> and spit explosive device. That's like, see, there you go, there you go. There's a good quote. There's a good yeah. quote. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Waiting? The green Lumas will transform into green power stars someday. Oh, yikes. Is what the game just told me, which means the yellow Lumas will transform into yellow power stars that I've been getting the whole fucking game. So I've Luma. been shoving Lumas inside of this reactor the whole fucking time. I don't know. And wait, wait, wait. Don't some of the yellow lumas turn into planets? Some of them turn into yes. launch stars. And, and then and then they have stars on top of those planets. So are they reproducing by ex what exploding? Fuck? Also, the grand stars, the big ass lumas, I guess. The I I think the, the life hell? of a I think the life of a luma is just cursed. Yeah, no. <laughs> wait. But then that recontextualizes the entire fucking f oh god. <laughs> you know what's really Luma. bad? You know what's really bad is these Lumas are so suicidal too. Like they're happy to get inflated just to blow up. Yeah. And now I'm starting to question what the heck garbits are made out of. Ah. Uh. <laughs> is it is it like is it like eating like a more Luma? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I mean, go there, the brethren. Oh no, this goes back to the earlier topic. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh no. So sorry. Oh, you guys. What have we done? Maggie, it happened again. It Everything sure did. Full, Everything comes full circle. <laughs> I, I forgot who I was talking with last time, but. I, I think it was was it on my stream or something like that, but like uh yeah. Play Dokapon Kingdom. And we started having a conversation or whatever, and then like three hours later, like we just start repeating our conversations. It was like, yeah, that's what happens, just everything just starts eventually coming back. <laughs> Turtle missile. crying or sausage. <laughs> oh, I see my rise there. Oh, So I mean, Tesla coil? Okay, yeah, I think that's the puzzle you're thinking of, VGM. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, making the, the cable to get to that chest is there now. In this game, uh, what do I want? Missile, I guess. I have very mixed feelings about Mario's swimming mechanics in this game. Like, I think it controls well, but the camera is not your friend. Meanwhile, I'm getting the exact opposite of controlling well. <laughs> yeah, like, like I think I think a big part of like what makes the controls counterintuitive is the camera, honestly. Yeah. I don't think I don't I don't think mechanically his swimming is bad. It's, there's not enough to compliment it. Yeah. And then he heard more voices. <laughs> Are we hearing voices? Yo, same. Oh my gosh, Maggie, it freaks me the out. Rising I swear every time. Yeah. 
to. Maggie, I swear, every time you pause your uh, game, I f keep on thinking my internet's starting to go out. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's oh, fine. That's I wanted, but it's fine. Uh, what do I want from this? I want the so I don't understand. I don't understand why, like, I can watch EGM's like stream just fine, but every time I watch my own stream, like, it just lags so bad. Hmm. I don't understand that. Like, I've had no buffering from uh, your stream at all, BGM. That's weird. I'm actually streaming at 8,000 bit rate. <laughs> I'm that, streaming at, that is so weird. I'm streaming well above what Twitch allows you or says they yeah. allow you to stream at. I, I stream at 6,000 bit rate, but like, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Right, it's, it's only strange. 2 o'clock. Why would I not? Yeah. Like, the problem started, like, two months ago, and it's just been that way ever since. Like, I don't know if Twitch just hates my channel. But, like, nobody else has a problem with my channel but me, so I don't know. But I've asked so many times if people are experiencing, like, stutter issues and stuff, and they say no. It's not 3 a.m. Yeah, it's me, bro. Right? in the right time zone. No, it's midnight. What are you talking about? Great. <laughs> Oh, it's weird. Oh, that's why you stream so late. Well, no, that no, wasn't why I streamed so late there. originally, but now it is. <laughs> yeah. No, it's seven. Dude, I, dude, I got a friend. I got a friend who lives in Hawaii, and he streams way past the times I want to see him. Seven p.m. No, yeah, it's dark for you too, Mickey. Nice. That's two o four. <laughs> All, the, all the, the coolest people live in Central Time Zone. Yeah, like Dolls and Beck. Yeah. I, I used to be cool. It's you okay. used to be cool, yeah. You're, you're still cool. Now you're cringe. Yeah, I do, because he's on. Uh, <laughs> I rate a Hawaiian uh, streamer because he's on when everybody else is asleep. William? Yeah, that sounds about right, Mickey. I'm pretty sure winter is for us. Oh, I murdered that uh, blighted enemy. No, I wanted that plasma machine. You know, it's nice to have a friend who's up late at night that I want to watch. Like, just raid. Mm -hmm. I do wish I could talk to Solo more, though. He's a nice guy. Oh, I'm supposed to you. I am so stupid. Nah, it's just it's just a Mario game. I'm gonna start the other bridge door. Hi, Roy. Uh. So Again. this entire time, I climbed up this this section and did some like really weird angle wall jumps and thought I was being dumb. And it turns out, no, you're I'm supposed to hit the corkscrew to make the platforms rotate. <laughs> I did all that finagling and all, uh, all like, that cool shit when it's just, no, you just hit the switch, idiot. But dude, you're styling. It was styling you're until, just, just thin. until the, the corkscrew was required to, un, uh, to unveil um, a chip. Dude, you're just playing the way I play video games. We, we just call that gaming. I almost got crushed, so I almost wasn't gaming for a second there. Now I'm gaming. Can you could stream more at times people could like actually watch. Aw, Mickey. Aw. What did the thing spawn? Yeah, oh. we're just we're just happy to see you though, Mickey. Mm -hmm. We're just always happy to see you. What the heck is Oh, it's not an enemy. Sorry, oh. sorry we all don't live in Australia with you. Oh, wow, eviscery has a lot of range. We're, we're, we're lame Americans. Oh, rip. I touched the thing. Oh, I'm checkpoint. That was BS because I, I, oh, I, yeah, I that's... sure touched the platform. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Galaxy 1 doesn't have like checkpoint checkpoints. It just oh, I does it. That. Yeah. yeah. Galaxy 2 has the flags. I should have the taken Pokeball. this ages ago, but I guess I'm getting it for free now. I forgot they had the Pokeball. <laughs> Your American VPN connection thinks you live in Australia? Dang. 
I read that as Golden Sun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maggie and Bill's are a sandwich. That'd be super scary. Wait, what? Or, 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 or Maggie and Duck are a sandwich. Between Dole's and I. Wait, Dole's, what? You're in, you're in Eastern, right? Uh, I'm in Central. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're in the middle then. Yeah. Uh, Rye. Uh, I, I'm making the sandwich of you all with Rye. Oh, <laughs> okay. Cool. Sounds fun. Yeah, I think out of I think out of everybody I know, I think I live closest to Duck. Unless I'm confusing Duck's location with somebody else, but I thought I thought Duck lived like just a couple hours away from me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Duck is in Texas. You know, I I know I know he said it, but it's like I sometimes just forget because I'm dumb. I love the visual effect of the umbrella, the rainstorm in the background. Yeah, that's so good. Yo, Duck, when are we gonna have an IRL meeting? Oh, okay, they're dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember, uh, I don't remember what part of Texas you live in. I thought it was close to Clown Captain, but I'm probably just confusing that with Clown Captain. Oh, he hella died. Yeah, I, I I have a good idea where Clown Captain is. Because I have some friends in that area, too. <laughs> Nino? But yeah, um... I, I learned that, uh, that, um... Yeah, they, they'd, be dis they'd be disappointed to meet me, Mickey, let's be real. Overweight, short, bald, or I'm not bald. Overweight, short, old guy. <laughs> Golly. Damn. Oh, Gosh, I'm, so, I'm so thankful baldness doesn't run in my family. I don't even know why I said that. We're too broke to guild mission, that's a problem. Too broke to guild mission, thing. And so what he left. Oh, GG. Never to become human again. Hey, Duck, you want to meet up in Houston? <laughs> We're broke. And by meet up in hey, Houston, me. I mean meet up in the boat. Wait, you claimed someone from my chat. Wait, what? Let's go. Ooh. It's Wiggy. All right, let's just have a normal run, shall we? Hi, Wiggy. To end the night. Oh, nice, Ray. What if I get to fight the the, the big funny <gasps> rock man? I have the saw, dude. Let's Today. go. I live. I live. I guess I can. I, I don't mind saying this. Let's try. I live. Speed. If you guys remember the TPC explosion that made the news for uh, a few years back, that's where I live. Where the chemical plants exploded. I don't actually remember that now. That's where I live. Yeah, exploded oh. around Thanksgiving. That was a fun Thanksgiving. Sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's very fun. A normal run of sniper, I could do that too. I might do that next. Yeah, what, what's so bad? What's so bad is my neighbor. My neighbor, she's like in her nineties. She said that that's the first time that's happened the whole time she's lived here. Oh. And like, it was so irritating. Like reading people online, like, man, they must be really stupid for living there. I'm like, dude, it's never happened before. And I'm like, you guys get like a bunch of bad storms and stuff like that, but you still choose to live where you live. And I'm like, it's like whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was like 2018. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was not long ago. I live yeah, relatively close, close to the coast, here? and uh... I don't know where they I'm in the warpath for major hurricanes, I still live here. I'm stupid, apparently. Yeah, I know, we, we live in an area where we got big hurricanes too. We had Ike. We had Ike, we had Rita. Uh, we like got other ones uh, that I don't remember the name of. Harvey? Yeah, we had Harvey, yeah. <laughs> we had yeah, Katrina. we get that we hurricane here too. <laughs> Yeah, man, there's there's like a negative part about your area. You should just never live there. Don't live anywhere. Yeah, I know. But what the, the thing is, every area's got some negative thing to it. Like, 
I think I'm also in the the solar eclipse path. Where's the solar eclipse path? I, d I don't even know about it. I don't know. You can probably find that answer on the internet. Uh, let's see. Solar eclipse. Duck set for next year? Yes. I Dude, I get to have it. normal items again. Wait, it's gonna oh. go through Texas? Dude, I I want to see this. I don't think I've ever seen a solar eclipse before. Okay, where's the U.S. map for this? I've never seen a total solar eclipse before. Oh, I think I'm south of it. Really fun. Am I, am I still gonna be able to see it? If, am I still gonna be able to see it if I'm south of it? No, I lost my stacks. You'll be able to see at least part of it. Yeah, because Houston, Houston's south of it. I mean, I don't live in Houston, but I live east of there, but. Oh, so Duck is probably further west than I thought. Yeah, we we live along the coast. I always forget that because I don't ever see beaches until I drive more than like 10 minutes. To be fair, we have to go out of our way to get to those roads. Our beaches are not exactly pretty because like we get all the gunk from the Mississippi River, and so our our ocean water is like all brown. A great thing to get early. No, we we have we have plenty of beaches. Just, yeah. Filial improper. Uh, let's, see, let's look at Texas. Oh yeah, it's going through Austin and Waco, and Dallas. Stag nab dude. <laughs> That's north of me. You're like an hour away from the coast? That's not too bad. Yeah, I can get to the coast in like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, the I live by a, bun I live by a bunch of rivers that connect to the uh, ocean. Wait, Duck, you had Rita too? So we are next door? Dude, Duck is like next door. I'm gonna go over to my neighbor's house and say hello to a stranger and then he'll be like, my name's Duck. <laughs> or he'll quack. No, he'll quack. He'll quack. <laughs> quack. No, wait, I lost my attack speed. <laughs> alright, alright. Somebody somebody remind me to buy some grapes and just give them to my neighbor and uh, leave <laughs> best friends forever. <laughs> I get that reference. Oh, you don't think you had Rita? Oh, rip. Oh, I mean, I guess the teleporter's right Oh, I'm here. sorry, you, you, shouted, you shouted Rita up there. Oh, you probably live in Florida. Oh, that makes sense. Didn't y'all, didn't Florida get Wilma that year? Was that, that was the same year as Katrina. I, re I remember, like, we had a lot of uh, Louisiana uh, evacuees come to our area. And then they had to evacuate again because of Rita. I felt so bad for them. Oh, no. Yeah, they evacuated. Just have to evacuate punching again. the boss. Uh... Yeah, I think I think there were three big hurricanes that year, and I think Florida got Wilma. Sunstone's moment. Dang. No legendary spark. You forgot. Let me, let me see if I can look it up. Is it... That would have been 2005. Uh, let's see... Is there a way where I can... Three of the ten most intense Atlantic hurricanes of 2005. Uh, along with number four Rita and number seven Katrina. Okay. Well, it was the 22nd... Where did it go through? Second most destructive hurricane of 2005. Oh, no, Rita was pretty bad too, but yeah. We have flooded like I think 95% of a city under our. What's that? I um, I know because of Rita, uh, our CC's pizza closed down forever, which made me sad. <laughs> I think they were just looking an excuse to close down though, because like the rent was too high. Uh, it says Wilma made landfall in Cape Romano, Florida, and uh, uh try to see where it went through. 
Okay, yeah, it struck from the west and went eastward. Oh, you're there during Katrina? Wait, what? Oh, gosh. My condolences. I know most New Orleans is still... Yeah, New Orleans had a lot of difficulty with Katrina. Yeah, that was really sad. Yeah, New Orleans got fucked. Like, what's really bad is, like, you don't think about it, but, like, it takes several years to recover from a hurricane. Like, people tend to forget about, like, one or two sure years. Sure does. But, like, yeah, but it can take, like, ten or more. It's really crazy. Oh, you mean in Florida? Sure does. I'm trying to remember, didn't Katrina go eastward after it struck? Crowd, there was one hurricane oh, that, yeah. like... There is one hurricane I remember that went through the country and then went back into the ocean and circled around and came back again. Yeah, uh, uh, Katrina made landfall in Louisiana. Uh, then it tore its way across the coast towards Florida. Then it came oh. back and hit Louisiana again. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, yeah, that was the one. And oh, it was still like a fuck? Category 4, I think, at the time. Like, it yeah. was still massive. That's, that's cracked. I was like, I'm fuck? back. Dude, I tell you what, though, Ike, I still remember, too, as being, like, the weirdest hurricane, because, like, it was next to another hurricane, and then it just ate it up. And, and then we also got buried it itself. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I remember Ike, though, like, fish. like, you know, like, you know how big the coastline of Texas is? Like, Ike was so big, it took up that whole coastline. And no joke, I went to Galveston later that year, and that was the cleanest oh, yeah. I had ever Ike seen the ocean. Ike up Texas. Yeah, but like that was the cleanest I had ever seen the ocean. Like it cleaned Corby? up so much nope. water. <laughs> I, have yet, I have yet, I have yet to see the Gulf that clean since. Honestly, the Gulf is fucking terrifying. Still black and burn trees. Oh rip. Yep. I would love to move north. I want to go to like Montana or something where nothing ever happens. Uh, snowstorms? Yeah, I'll deal with the snow. I'll take the snow over a hurricane. I don't yeah, know, like, I, like, um... like, I'll say this, like, as, as sucky as damage property is, like, I would rather take a hurricane, because at least you have time to prepare. Like, other stuff, it just happens. Yeah, you have time to prepare, but... Y you know, you could still lose your house, even if you prepare. Yeah, but I mean, at least you still don't die. lose your life. Yeah, but I mean, at least you don't lose your life. That, that's the that's the point I'm getting at. Is at least you don't like randomly lose your life out of nowhere. As opposed to like a tornado just suddenly popping in, and then 15 minutes later you're dead. The worst part about tornadoes is that, like there's like the dread leading up to them, but unless you like stalk the weather, you pretty much will never even know just how bad it truly is going to get. Oh yeah. Because oh, like yeah. like like the mainstream weather channels will just be like, oh yeah, it's severe weather. Well, it's likely. Haha. -ha. Yeah. It, this it, overloading like, well, clay man is blank like, How murder bad me. is it really? Yeah, I mean we we get some tornadoes from time to time and they can get bad, but like we most of the ones that we usually get are from. Hey, I'm dead. Yeah, I know um the one There's... outbreak that um that was in the place I used to run, live at handy was, like, run. one of the fucking worst that uh that we've had pretty much ever. It was really, really bad. It wasn't Wait. like, you know, like as bad as the 1972 right, or 2011 outbreak. Holy yeah. fuck. It was bad. You're like in Tornado tornado Alley? No, uh, that's the worst part. Um, huh. We used to be in Illinois, and yeah, uh, Illinois has had, if I'm not mistaken, no. the uh, most amount of tornadoes uh, this year. Golly. Just from damn. like that out, like, there were like two outbreaks, like literally two days in a row that were fucking atrocious. So I had to spend like the entirety Trick of those two go. days just locked in the bathroom because they would just not stop. Oh gosh. It was horrible and horrifying. Did y'all not have basements? Nope. Ugh. I'm curious. So about it was this literally a so, so like the atmosphere was also prime for uh, like really powerful tornadoes as well. So that it was just praying that if one did hit, which was very likely because of what was going on in the in the sky, that we just had to pray it was gonna be small. Yeah, man, that, that's what's really, hit, thankfully, that's what's really bad, though, is when you live in an area with tornadoes, but like you don't get enough to warrant like houses having basements. Yeah, because it's just like crud. You just got to pray that nothing happens. Yep. Like, or I remember worse, them... whenever um, 
I used where I used to live in Indiana was a fucking mobile home park. So oh, man. and in Kentucky both, and those areas get bad tornadoes too. Kentucky had Mayfield in the in the oh. fucking winter of all like of all times. I don't know if you know what happened to Mayfield. Uh uh. But uh, the tornado literally wiped the town off the map. Oh my gosh. Gone. <laughs> That's terrible. Which is annoying. Yeah. That's really bad though. That's like a lot of livelihoods and jobs and so much. I think annoying gone. is. I don't annoying is definitely a way of. It's definitely a way yeah. of putting it. Yeah, it's definitely an understatement. Oh yeah, it, it just wiped the whole fucking town off the map, and it's, like it's gone. It's yeah, I, I would I would say tragic is more accurate. Yeah. A gender reveal party? <laughs> Golly. That's that's pretty extreme for setting a party or. Oh yeah, on fire. that did happen, did it? I forgot about that. Was I forgot about that too. That's so like, bad. What was it? What are you reacting to? Uh, no, I'm I'm reading I'm reading what uh, Slayer was talking about. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I swear I'm something like that I'm happened reading. where somebody like set something on fire before because of a gender reveal party. Oh yeah, I'm reading what Rice said though because um, during one of my streams though, um, I heard like some really small hail on, on like the skylight because the old place had oh, a skylight, right. and it was like I didn't know what was going on because I wasn't checking the weather like that week. So yeah. then I went and I'm like, okay, well, what's going on outside? Go check. And I was under a red box. Tornado warning. I'm like, ah, oh, mm, yeah, that's uh, what's going on outside. Uh, fuck. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Guess I'm going in. Isn't it going fun when you live in a place where weather just randomly happens? Yeah. It's like, um, because I was playing Middle Gear Rising too, and I was like kind of popping off, but then when I saw that, I'm like, um, am I, am I in danger? Oh, crap. I can't believe that. <laughs> And like everyone, everyone uh, was actually in chat. The chat was actually really active at the time too. So everyone was like, "Oh fuck." Hey Jim, how do we how do we get more active chats? And the problem was like I also tried to get Soma up at the time. I tried to get Soma like awake, and Soma's like, eh, "It's fine." I'm like, N -n -n "No, it's not fine." There's a tornado oh. warning over us right now. Jeez, that's yeah, fine. That sounds like <laughs> a Soma fine. thing to say. Like, yeah, I'll sleep the tornado. Dog, dog, it's dog is in. Yeah, instead of dog being in a fire building, dogs just surrounded by tornadoes. Yeah, I forgot to bring some. Huh? I was just downstairs, and I'm like, oh, well, this is happening now. I, 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 I believe actually the, um, there was an update where like the tornado was actually on the ground, too. So it was like, um, help. Ugh. And it, it just kind of, it was unnerving to think that during that entire stream, if I hadn't been paying attention to, like, the skylight, I would have never even known. Because it was also dark, too. And yeah. there was no, there was no thunder, either. Like, it was literally a silent storm. There was very, like, very little rain or anything. That's just, so weird. oh yeah, there's a tornado out there. Yeah, usually most should of have our, known. Usually most of our uh, storms are just storm, <sighs> storm, like, loud. Like, I I can't tell you, I can't tell you how many times we've had just a regular storm that rivaled like tropical storm like weak hurricane levels. Yeah. yeah. I know the hearing that the one outbreak that Illinois had though it was like fucking like every storm in that was like at least eighty mile an hour winds. Yeesh. Some reaching over one hundred. It's like mm, ah yes. Yeah, I, and I will take it's not small even a hurricane. hurricane for breakfast, please and thank you. Yeah, it, yeah, it's not even a hurricane. It's like golly. Fucking boulder guys, god damn it, dude. But yeah, sometimes I get to the point where it's just like I'm every time it rains, like I'm praying the power doesn't go out. Yeah. Also yeah, I did say that right. The furries do run our power grids and our internet. It's just a truth. Oh you did say furry. I know, but I mean it's the truth though, they do. Uh I mean to be fair, a lot of times their power is gone out just because squirrels like to chew on the power lines and then kill themselves. Dang, yeah, there's a thing that uh, they tend to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm convinced squirrels are suicidal. Squirrels are uh, hell spawn. Dude, what's so bad? What's so bad is I can't think that fully. I still remember one time when uh, there was a squirrel that was like nearly dead on the road, and there was another squirrel there, just like really concerned and worried for it. 
And my dad was nice enough to pick up that uh, dying squirrel and like put it on the side so I could die peacefully. And that squirrel was just like with the other squirrel the whole time to go past. Oof. Like, like seeing that from like wild animals is just like that was that was crazy. Like I like I would never think something like that would like be a thing. That was a thing to hear. I agree. A small little tornado touched the ground. Hey, yeah, hey, v hey, hey, VGM. Yeah. Whenever you think about tornadoes, no. now do you think about carrying a car? Okay. Bring a what? Do you think about tornadoes carrying a car now? Yes. Um, actually, <laughs> so funny thing about that, um, one of the tornadoes that I was um, watching um, that was actually going to be near Maggie's area. Um, Don't tell me that. That's scary. There, there was, there were, there were, there were, there were cars inside of it. Uh, you could see headlights up in the. Uh, oh gosh. Up in the clouds. Oh gosh. Someone's that's car great. was up there, that's and great. it was running. Oh my gosh. And I, I just remember thinking back to that, like, mm, yep, that's a experience to be in, isn't it? Yeah, that tornado's carrying a car. Yeah. <laughs> that tornado's carrying a car, and that car is on, and someone was just driving that. Someone is might still be driving that. Not. <laughs> they are now about to become not. <laughs> oh my That's gosh, I'm, I'm so terrible. I'm thinking about now is just Sonic just looking up at the tornado. Like, woohoo, what of you? <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm sorry I brought Sonic back up. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, I was just thinking of that quote. <laughs> the tornado. Oh my gosh. I'm to blame for spawning. We'll do a death ritual if they find another one dead. Oh, dude. That's sad. I think crows do that. Crows so, are very uh, intelligent. Or yeah, at least they right? honor their how's dead a lot. Right, your wife is Bouldergeist? You know, I might have been thinking about tornadoes too, just by watching how you spin the ghosts. Yeah. Is this gonna be the I can backflip while attempt? charging. This game is the base. Yeah, animals are smart. I, I like I like how smart a dolphin was when it hump hump tank hill. <laughs> Dolphins are fucking terrifying. <laughs> Oh my Wh gosh, you, you watch that episode though, you really freak out with dolphins. Why did I just beat this guy no damage on my second try without the Dead Devil, Devil, Devil Star Active? That's fucked. I know, right? Doug, that is both kind of funny and sad to read. Like, but like, just the like idea of cats making your procession is funny. Like I had that same like I had that same experience, Vijim. Like my first fight against Boulder Guys, like it was so sucky and then afterwards it's like free. Fight is kind of ass. Warning your pet. Aww. Hey, animals, animals tend to have more feelings than they tend to believe sometimes. Yeah. Dude, mm -hmm. I need to go sleep at 2 30 in the morning. It's only 12 30 though, though. That's what do you mean? Oh, that's true. It's only 12 30. Daredevil Comet is in orbit. Ma uh -huh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> you ready? Are you ready? Oh, baby. Are you ready? Oh, baby. I forgot! I was just mentioning it, and now it's real. Game hurts you. Daredevil Sorry, Boulder guys might be like my favorite star in the game. It is very cool. What? You're telling me you don't like the rolling on the ball levels? Oh, I do. Or the, I love uh, the ball levels, actually. Or the, or the Manta Ray racing levels? No, those kind of are boring. The ball levels are really fun, though. Ball levels are so stressful. Ball. We ballin'. Dude, they're right, so boulder stressful. Boulder guys. Boulder fuck. I try to remember, with the ball levels, don't you hold the Wii remote, like... Vertically? Yeah, you hold it awkwardly. You hold it in a very fucking weird... Yeah. yeah. It's... Yeah. But to be fair, I think I remember Galaxy 2 having harder ones.
You know, it's so it's so funny, like, when you're playing something like Mario and, like, something's not that hard, but they give you one hit KO and suddenly it's just the most stressful thing in the world. Yeah. I got face jam. I wouldn't even say Boulder Guys is that easy, though. Like, it's not I hard. Think I think he's, yeah, I mean, I think he's a decent challenge for Galaxy. Yeah. It's a fun boss. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's 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 cool essentially boss. in the win. Yeah, cool boss too. But that was at the end too. Great. Yeah, just oh, you fight. got you got sniped. I'm into a fucking rock. Wait, idiot. can you shoot while bank flipping in this game? Hold up. No. The right guy. I'm gonna grab the start no, before I need to. I need to do this. Wheat. What did I get? Oh, cool! I got a net gear. Nice. Uh, net gear. Can I use that? <laughs> I can. All right. All right. Net gear is getting updated. So. Do I remember? Have fun using your net gear. Yeah, thanks. Hope you have fun. I just said have fun and hope you have fun. I'm stupid. Don't worry about it. Oh, I read a town where you live. That one was interesting. I'm not donking anymore. All right, dude. It's so nice that Nepgear is number sixty-nine because she is the nicest. Yeah, right, Nepgear. Make sure the teleporter is not over here. I'm just gonna pray it's not. Dude, if I get another purple sister, I'll make her into a god. Fucking shit! That was terrifying. Welcome back. Dude, I still have to get Saki into God. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. It's gonna take the rest of my life. What mythical took a year? Cool, Saratoga already? Hold on, hold on. I need to check something. Okay, I still have Saki for bounty. Uh, Come on, man. Where's the teleporter? Let me just end the run. Uh, dude, I don't have enough for it. So I can play another one and go to bed. I'll buy a Mega Premium? What? Oh, wait, Han. I'm stupid. Free! Uh, how do you upgrade? Uh, basically, you, uh, just keep multiple cards until they all fuse together into one nice. thing. Second try. Nice. I am not facing the right way. Okay. If it's a jank, hey, look, put a hey look, I got a meme. I got a meme. Meme. Oh, I got the witch from Rosario Vampire. Dude, Rosario Vampire is really good, but I heard the anime is terrible. The manga, though, is fantastic. Right? Did I get anybody? Ooh, Serena from Dragon Quest is cute. Isn't she mommy? Dude, I got Barbara, right? I got Barbara <laughs> from Genshin Impact. Barb. 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 I, I don't even have anything right now. I don't think I have. Oh, I do have a Barbara. I don't want to work on her. That's. That means I have multiple Barbaras. That doesn't feel very smart right now. So, uh, Maggie, yes. if I were to ever, if I were to ever guide your, uh, Saki, what should I use for the picture? It's a great question. Should I do the one where she's taking off her jacket? Yes. <laughs> okay, I get to play the game normally Oh, again. man. Alright, I think I can trash everything, now. Dude, I'm getting a Ooh. lot of Xenoblade oh, Keyblades. Oh, goodbye, Milo. <laughs> hey, what? Who was here? Wait, what? Are we having? Are we having? Are we having waifu wars? Oh, I didn't get enough. 
Swing your rifle in front of you, dealing 120% damage and knocking enemies back. It's a melee attack? I'm down. Melee. I never would have thought uh, I'd be playing. Ooh, they got a mythical melee sniper. What the hell? Dude, is any does anybody want Ram in a wedding dress? This seems really dumb. Ram in a wedding dress? Yeah, Ram in a wedding dress. I got her. Oh, oh my god. Also, I got Uni and like. The most naked outfit ever. Okay, have two near. I killed one enemy with Chaos, the melee attack and I hit Chaos, her. Chaos Black Sister. That's just. Dude, she's naked! You can't tell me that she's wearing clothes. She's huh? just naked. Hang on. I, I need to confirm this. Just to make sure you know what you're talking about. What, about naked? Stand. Yeah, Yuni's naked. I'm now curious as to what kind of cursed shit you stumbled up mm, huh. on isn't isn't she naked uh yes see told you i think we're gonna have to I, confiscate this one for further the, research uh, i've never seen the end of the <laughs> chaos sisters hold on this point uh you can look at my uh booster pack one on i'll give you the link one sec Melee snipers. I read Dumb. that as Boobra. Boobra? First. Yeah. She's just flashing her naked butt. Sounds pretty good to me. I'm pretty sure her boobs aren't covered either. I mean, I like the pose and the expression. Yeah, I mean, she's cute, but she, uh, is probably very cold. You do, uh, put on some clothes. I like how Slayer's punking you out of curiosity. <laughs> like, dude. Like, bruh. Fuck. Alright, I threw away the naked girl. You guys can you guys can Okay, you can't now. backflip during that special. Do I have enough for one more? Okay, fuck. Alright, we'll do one last one. Alright, I actually take damage. Oh, didn't I? Is that that's the girl that dies in Zero, like cries from Mega Man X, right? Iris. Yes. Yeah. Where he's just like, what am I fighting for? What am I fighting for? What am I fighting for? Oh well, this blows. Oh, I lost. She is wearing clothes. She was not wearing clothes. I think a little tiny piece of fabric over your butt crack is not wearing clothes. Yeah, I would not classify that as clothes. Lingerie, maybe. Dude, I got Banui girl. Oh, it's not from the uh, bunny from Bunny Tenpai. I got Banui. I I did read some of that. It was it was actually good. I actually liked your character. Like, I like how Bunny Girl is what draws you in, but then, like, character development is, like, what keeps you there. It's not an article of clothing. It's, like, a claw. It's, like, a... It's, Ooh, like, it's like if you put a Kleenex... It's, like... Player, it's, like, if you put, like, tissue paper over your crotch. That's not clothes. <laughs> if she's cold, am I gonna let her in? Rye, please! Hey, my booster? I got a premium? I got one item. I think, Duck, are you okay? Do, do you see anything you like? It's not closed, dude! It's <laughs> not closed! Maggie, can, BGM, can y'all confirm that's not closed? It is not closed. It's not. <laughs> Andrea, maybe. Yeah, well, that's different. But, like, I don't even know if it's, like, connected around the waist. Like, it just looked like it was, like, a little flimsy thing connected to a tail. And you're telling me that tails are closed?
So, okay, so Slayer, are you telling me, are you telling me that when, uh, Poir turned into a giant pair of scissors and cut off, uh, Son Goku's tail, it was like ripping off his pants, right? Same thing? What? Hey, Dole's had a question. <laughs> yes? Uh, do you remember how to get the, uh, the Secret Star in the Blu-ray level? Uh... I think it's a, I think it's a comet? I think the Quickscope is a bad skill. I, I think there's a comet. Where you race him again, I could be wrong. Why is everybody talking about lingerie all of a sudden? Give me definitions. <laughs> In both chats. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Why is it that both chats unite for one thing and it has to be this? Are you guys that are you guys that desperate to defend Uni's butt? Yes. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I mean somebody has to because whatever she's wearing sure isn't. Well, good, right? You can dedicate yourself to Uni because she doesn't have any clothes yeah, that'll dedicate them to her. Oh my god, dude. Alright, one more, one more, one more. I haven't played like a run as the miner yet, so. Let's do it. A clothing, not her bite. <laughs> like... Oh no, dude. Uh. Oh. <laughs> it's really... oh my gosh, this is... Oh my gosh, why are chats always cursed? Yeah, I threw her away forever ago. Well, that was a waste of money. I, I, I miss those innocent days where I kept the nep here. Didn't even have to think about uni. He's being tainted. True. <laughs> Make up for lost time. Oh, man. We, we know some amazing people, don't we? Certainly do. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Still thinking back to that the fucking rabby db discussion that happened. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> God. Please, please oh, explain. Please explain. Oh, you weren't there for that. Oh. Oh no. You wasn't there, chat. I, I need to know the war. You might have missed one of good at Galaxy. What the fuck do you mean? Dude, stop focusing on Luigi. I want to know the war, dude. Oh. Okay, Maggie, Maggie, do I want to know the lore? It's a long story. Not really, but... Is it, is, is it good, though? Uh, I mean, I left Drabby DB over it. <laughs> so... Oh, wow, for real? Yeah. Dang. Was it like some heated argument? <laughs> Who was it? <laughs> what was being argued? It's somewhat in relation to our last discussion. I know. <laughs> like, wait, wait, like nudity? I, yeah. Wait, were you guys arguing about clothes on the Rabbi character? No. Not on the Rabbi characters. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, wait, was Nep? No. No, wait. <laughs> what? What was it about? So, Dull. Yeah. Are you familiar with a game called Little Witch Novena? A what? Are you familiar with a game called the Little Witch Novena? No. 
Um, well, I'll keep it that way. Uh, anyways, um, keep it so that the developers. Way. The developers are funny like, people. The developers like to do uh, horny posting on their on their Twitter account, right? Oh God. Of their of Nobeta, or whatever um, her name is. I think it's her name is Nobeta. Yeah, yeah Nobeta. The problem is that she looks really young. Oh. Uh, like, really young. Yeah. What? Uh, uh, like, like, uh. Um, the developers meme on this constantly, um, and laugh at rules that would get them banned for doing this. Their Discord got sniped. Oh. So I started laughing at them. Um, in the Nobeta channel under IBDB because it will, it's fucking hilarious. They they laugh at it. They do this thing and then they get sniped. So it's, like it's funny. Yeah. People did not take kindly to me doing that. Oh um, my god. Then um, by the end of it, they started saying that because I have an anime profile picture, I am a pedophile. Wow. Uh, it got really heated really quickly, um, and I left the server. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, because it was like, I just laughed at this. Also, I started getting called like ghoulish or something for laughing at ghoulish. developers being stupid. Wow. Every time I hear the word ghoulish, I think of goulash. Dude, like, I'm, I'm sorry though, but like, calling somebody a pedophile is not something you do lightly. Yes. Agreed. Nah, man, it's my anime profile picture. It's completely different. Of oh, a character oh. that's not underage. Um, uh, you know. I uh, left the server over that. And then that started the whole, like, fucking, like, signing in the contract, leave the server here. Thing. I'm so sorry, dude. Which is annoying. I, I'm, I'm sorry you're having to grow up in an age where, like, everybody's so overly sensitive about everything. And then, like, what was even worse is they're like, well, how, why did you even join this? Uh, why did you even join the server if these are your beliefs? My oh, gosh, huh. they don't even know you. It's like, oh, because I have 10,000 hours in the game that the server is made about, and I kind of speedrun it and ran it at the game's on quick. I don't really understand what you're talking I, about. I guess apparently they don't pay attention. Yeah, it was really, it was a whole fiasco. It's like, what the fuck? Uh, man, man, that's that's what's so sad about today, though. It's like you can do just one thing, and suddenly everybody's against you. Yeah. Also, like other people in that very channel were complaining about the developer horny posting on main because, well, of course, there's a lot of reasons why people complain about that. Yeah. Oh, okay, um, that's okay. amazing. Reasons of which I won't really go into because it's not really important. Um, it's pretty obvious to figure out what they are, but. Yeah. But then, like, whenever I laugh at the developers for getting bopped for this, suddenly I'm in the wrong. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it's, it's funny because why I'm does like, my eyebrow yeah, better they shoot that direction? I'd be like, yeah, I'd be like, they deserve it. Yeah. I'm like, you're going against the rules. I'm like, I'm being creep. Also, literally everyone in um, the Discord server got warned for being associated with them as well. It was a whole fucking thing. Wow. It was that bad. Discord oh, was not taking it. Ugh. This is why we Discord's history with that kind of stuff. This is why we stick in all this story. Yeah. And then everyone was freaking out that, like, well, RabbiDB's gonna get it obliterated, and then whenever I was laughing, they were like, oh, you're gonna take down RabbiDB too. It's like, what the fuck? Chill. Honestly, you <laughs> should. It's like, are you all doing things that are really that questionable and you're not safe for work channels? Calm the fuck down. Uh, from what I hear, yes. Uh, you know, I've you know, also Matt, heard that from the server owner, so yeah. You know, Maggie, I, I miss so the honestly, days where... I miss the days where everybody didn't whine like a crybaby every time somebody opened their mouth. True. I, I miss those days. <sighs> We're old dolls. I know. Dude, I fucking feel old. And Dude, I'm like, like, uh, like young. Like, like, I'll be honest, like... People always, like, make fun of, like, the 90s nostalgia, but I'm being real, like, just growing up in that time period, like... People were a lot more chill back then. Like, I- like, I'm- like, I'm convinced that 90s is, like, peak where everybody got along. I mean, maybe that's my childhood blinding me, but, like, that's what it feels like. That's pretty good. Yeah. 
Dude, I'm sick of it, Mac Mickey. Mackie. No. <laughs> Like I'm like I'm sorry. Like honestly, people need to have tougher skin and stop being offended by everything. Guess what? Not every, nothing is gonna be perfect for everybody. Yeah. And, like if we're, if we're I'm kind of glad that uh, we were able to have more discussion in here. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ, that was a discussion. But, but like, here's the thing though. Like, if you're out there demanding like something to be perfect for you. You're gonna end up like making things not perfect for a whole ton of other people, and then they're gonna complain, and it's just gonna cycle over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, people online, like, I mean, at least early days of internet, it was a lot more chill. But I think, I think, Arm I think trees. too, like, I mean, I think, I think too, though, like, with social media getting a lot more wide, and like people, like, a lot more people, like, finding, like, people like them to like echo chambers and stuff like that like i think it's just invite a lot more toxicity on the internet and i don't think nobody really knows how to like publicly express themselves really anymore no way i don't really like mainstream spaces yeah especially like speedrunning because there's a lot of subtle elitism involved yeah um, I know, like, every experience I've had in a mainstream computer name server, like, whether it be Mario, Sonic, or any other game, it just... I don't know, I've never had a positive interaction. Right. Yeah. Or, and, like, and that... I say one thing, and then suddenly, like, literally everyone fucking jumps on my neck about it, it's like, what the fuck? Chill the hell out. It, it's, and that's so sad, too, because it's like, you just want to go in there and have fun, and you're just, like, wanting to participate in a hobby that you find enjoyable, and... I think instead I, of I people just... being welcoming and accepting, they're just shunning you out because you don't think like them. Yep. I, I think what really bothers me, too, is, like, people who say they're accepting and stuff like that, but they're, they're only accepting... I think this third think skill like might them. suck. Like I really, like I really hate that kind of hypocrisy in people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I don't really do communities. Like I I don't do social media and stuff like that, and I'm so thankful for it. Like I but like I I, uh, like, I, I tried Twitter it early on, and I immediately moped because I it's, just it just felt fake. I'm glad that I uh I I fucking obliterated my Twitter. Yeah, I I hear people that do that like. I, I, I think there's like some like uh I only use it to look at art. I, I'm trying I'm trying to think of what the word is. Like there's some like not remorse, but like like people go through like a bit of a uh I, I can't think of the word. It's withdrawal? Like, not whip withdrawal, yeah, I was gonna say whip watching, right? But then it's like as time goes on, it's just like, yeah, glad I did it. Much healthier for it. It's basically like what I, I'd imagine. It's basically like just like cutting out like a habit. <laughs> yeah, I did make a Twitter, but I only made it for the one year I did Final Fantasy Five for Job Fiesta. I don't even I don't even remember what my info is. <laughs> Account yes, successfully Leon. deleted. Account successfully deleted? Oh gosh, that's good. That's good. Same. Where is the teleporter? But yeah, like, I, I just remember, like, my mom tried to get me into Facebook, like, when I was starting to get popular. And, uh, yeah, and connecting, I mean, this was before, like, people started saying it got really toxic. But like, uh, this is like what, 2008? And uh, I just remember like, yeah, you found friends that you hadn't seen in years and whatnot. And it's like, okay, that's cool. But then they don't ever talk to you. And it's like, what's the point? And what convinced me to get off is suddenly they all want to say hi when it's my birthday. And I'm just like, if you're, if I'm that important to talk to, you can just call me on the phone. Like, it, it just all felt fake and like, it's just, oh, my birthday popped up, so everybody felt obligated to say happy birthday, and I'm just like... Yeah. It doesn't feel real. This feels fake, and I don't want to be a part of this. 
though. I immediately stopped. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Duck, duck did something. What did you do, duck? What did you do? I probably should take that, but I'm not going to. Oh, I can't, I can't Hell duck yeah. and cat in this at the same time. Uh, hold on, let me scroll down. What did duck do? What did duck do? What the heck, duck? How'd she get both twins from Hunter Hunter? Wait, how did you pull that off? Why are they two numbers apart? Dude, I'm trying to remember how old they are, because aren't they friends of, like, Dawn's dad? Yo, 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 chill, brothers. Oh yeah, speaking of Hunter Hunter, did anybody see that uh the creator like spoke in details about an ending he'd do if he like died like tomorrow? Like he's got it like he's like uh basically from what I understand, like he's got a more satisfying ending depending on like how far he gets and he has he has like four endings planned out and he revealed like plan D in case like he's got to stop Hunter Hunter like major in the tiny bit of lava there is in this page. But I, I think I think that's interesting though that he's got like all these things out. Yeah you can find you can find the ending uh online. It's a very it's a very basic ending but like I hate cremators I'm gonna he, die he, speci he specifically says that like they're more satisfying the more you go on. Like, the longer it get, the series goes on. I don't think he's revealing the other three endings, so. Okay. All I know is Hunter Hunter has been stuck in a boat for, like, a decade, and, uh... I'm dead. God damn it. I hate rip, cremators rip so Maggie. much. Rip Maggie. Okay, I need to go to bed. It's, like, 3 in the morning. I think I'm also gonna go to bed. God. Oh, that was fun, guys. Dude, yeah, enjoy, enjoy the Rosalina story. I, dude, I like her story. I'm, I'm so upset at Miyamoto saying, "Hey, take all that mess out." <laughs> yeah. Rosalina had a good story. That's why I like her so much. Yeah. Also, she's like. That's also, she's also something mommy. I dislike about Galaxy Two. It feels like just a retcon of one and complete redo of the story. You replace <laughs> Rosalina with Lubba. I mean, come yeah, on. and Lubba is stupid. What? I, Lubba, Lubba is the sexiest Mario character. You take that back, you scumbag. The funny thing is, no. with the, these like uh, these um, storybooks, I actually um, used to literally read these before bed whenever I was younger. <laughs> oh, the, these so cool. were, like cute. these were my storybooks. 